You're listening to Freak Fiction. We got shit to say, people! Hey, Freaklings. Are you in the Tulsa, Oklahoma area? Did you realize you wanted a Batman onesie or refurbished furniture? Even antique Halloween decorations when the season's upon us? Go to Quizzy's in Broken Arrow at 418 North Main Street, 74012. And get comics, records, or even a unique lamp or a pair of funky sunglasses. Don't fall for overpriced vintage outlets or smarmy exchanges. Support your local comic book shop or thrift store, which Quizzy's is both. Tell them the freak sent you and watch them look at you weird or read your message but never respond. What's up, everyone? Hey, Freaklings. Hey, everybody. I'm Rudy Ramon. I'm Mikey White. And I'm Adam Burr. We're going to hang out with you tonight. Well, or a day. Whatever maybe, you listen. Maybe they're, you're, you're brushing your teeth right now, getting ready for your day, and you're just... Yeah. Or maybe you're cuddling up to a nice book and listening to some freak fiction. That's what we really want. Yeah. And it's all completely consensual. <laughs> yeah. In a perfect world, everything's consensual. Yeah. Yeah, in a perfect world. Right, so, uh, yeah, Adam, how was your week, buddy? Uh, yeah, it was, it was pretty interesting. Uh, well, I, like, I just worked, played games, usual stuff, but something interesting happened to me. Uh, what would that be, sir? Uh, apparently eating a tuna sandwich from Subway every other day will give you mercury poisoning. Oh my god. What? You got mercury poisoning? Uh, not enough to like... I don't think like... that should be... The well, it's, uh, apparently... Okay, here's the story. Okay, every, every day for the past maybe couple, well, every day, but like every other day since when I go to Subway the past couple months, uh, I would order a, uh, I order one or two sandwiches. It's either a tuna sandwich or a spicy Italian because I figured that I figured they were the best tasting ones. Yeah, uh, why should I switch? Mm-hmm. And uh, I noticed a bit along like down 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 line that uh, uh, I started getting headaches almost. Every time I had uh, the tuna one, mm. and I'm like, why, why the fuck am I getting a headache? Am I allergic to tuna? Mm. So the last time it happened, which is was earlier this week, I uh, I did an internet search. I didn't go to a doctor because fuck doctors. I mean, not yeah. really, but like I did whatever I did when they have a symptom. <laughs> it did not it's sexy. Go go to a, go, <laughs> go do a Google search. Yeah. And uh, search I, I just good. I just looked up. Uh, yeah. I, uh, I looked up. Tuna allergy first, because I'm like, oh shit, I'm going to the tuna or something, and then none of the uh, none of the symptoms match, and then I'm like, what, what, what the fuck? So I typed in a uh, tuna headache, and the very first thing that popped up was uh, my uh, methyl mercury poisoning from seafood. Oh. I'm like, oh, and then I, I read through the like all the uh, symptoms, and it was like headache, uh, like problem problems like with motor skills. And I'm like, oh, I have been having problems like sometimes like with my balance lately for some reason. Uh-huh. And then, uh, and then the, the next one was uh, it was periphery problems. I'm like, that's that sounds like me too. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, you. oh well, I guess I'm going to t- uh, like uh, take it take it a little bit easy on the the tuna sandwiches for a while because those yeah. apparently yeah. they're they're apparently they're killing me. Yeah. Well, not yeah. really. It wasn't it wasn't that bad. The headaches weren't that bad, but it was. It, it was enough to where I'm like, why the fuck am I getting headaches all the time from eating this goddamn tuna sandwich? <laughs> oh, yeah. Why am I getting fat by eating McDonald's every day for a month? Well, like, well... That's a silly question. I mean, I, I, mean, I don't get... I haven't gotten <laughs> Well, you think it's, like, healthy because it's subway. Yeah, it's subway. Allegedly, it's healthy and, you know, Jared... Well, that, well, yeah, well, it's just like... Jared, 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 I don't think Jared had anything to do with the... the I heard a rumor that he got liposuction and he didn't really he, he admitted to getting liposuction. I've heard that too. Oh, okay. But like back to my story, well, it's, apparently story, it's, yeah. it's not it's not just like uh, it's not just something that happens rarely. It's it, it's all seafood basically because they have uh, a natural like the like compound inside them from being in the oceans and shit. Mm-hmm. So it's called a uh, methyl mercury. It's not like base, it's like element mercury that can kill you in an instant. Yeah. It's kind of, it has to build up a lot for a long time, for yeah. probably years. Every, everybody has in, in their system to an extent. So uh, instead of routine, go for adventure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. Food-wise especially. <laughs> now that just reminds me of... 
uh, one time I was at Subway, and you know, again, like I always would get like a meatball sub and something else. I forget what the other one was, depending on you know my mood. And uh, they had a a guacamole uh, promotion thing, you know. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I would love to have guacamole on my sub. Everything tastes bad with guacamole on it. Guess how much it cost for the for guacamole? Two dollars. Two dollars. Yeah. And I was just like, fuck that. For two dollars, <laughs> I can buy guacamole and make my own guacamole and put it on like 15 of my own sandwiches. I yeah. used to eat Subway like like all the time, but yeah. dude, I, I hate it now. I kind of have to because there's there's it's, one right next to my work. Yeah, it's like and the closest I, I, thing for you to go get and to and eat. Like, I, and like, I don't want to eat at the fucking Brahms. I don't yeah. want to eat the, I don't eat at uh, Burger King. Brahms dude, Charlie, you got Charlie's Chicken right over there. Yeah, well, well, I ate Charlie's Chicken twice. Charlie's with Chicken my with my friends, with, with my friend Gary, it's so and, good. And, I, and I, 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 I smelled like it. grease, and I got a stomach ache the oh, entire dude, day. That's, We're saying that's so what it's all about. That's that's part part of, right now. No, it's part of the experience. My friend, <laughs> my friend Gary got this, the biggest fucking pile of chicken you ever seen. It was on a lunch break. We only had an hour to eat it. Uh, I, I don't even know if he ate all of it. Hmm. And I'm like, uh, I'll have what he's having, but two sizes smaller. So yeah. they gave me like this. It was still huge as fuck. I was like, what the? Dude, I was like, this is small. Chicken chunks. Chicken chunks. It's just like a giant chicken nugget, dude. Or it's just a, a giant chicken nugget <laughs> and a smaller chicken tender. <laughs> but, dude, and then you can get, like, sometimes they do specials and they have, like, chicken fried steak and you get mashed potatoes and gravy. Or you get gr- the mashed potatoes and gravy <laughs> and then another side. Well, like, I, I, I went in there the first time because like six bucks. Uh, because whenever, whenever he, because we, we, we work in the same place and we had the same lunch period just happened that one, that one day. And he's like, let's go to Charlie's Chicken. I'm like, oh, I've never been there before. Sure. And I go in and it's like the most, it's most it's like the podunk country five place I've ever seen. It's like, yeah. you think my tractor's sexy over the radio. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> and God, Gary, where the hell did you take me? <laughs> so that was, that's essentially your week. You got mercury poisoning? Uh, that and, uh, I mean, did you guys see the blood moon last night? Oh, the I brown moon. <laughs> That's what I wanted to say. Uh, dude, it, just looks like, like, <laughs> it just looked like I was squinting at the moon. That's really all it looked like. It looked, yeah, like, it looked like slightly red, but I was like, I guess if, well, it, like, if everyone says it's well, red. Yeah, I mean, in some places, it was huge as fuck. Well, it, was yeah. like, it was like blood red. Yeah. Like where we are, like in the middle, in like in like right on the, like in the middle of the United States, like. <laughs> You, we could barely even see the moon to begin with. Yeah. My cousin lives in Minnesota, like really north, and he's yeah. like, there was just he saw it for a little bit, and then it's like the rest of the night yeah. was just cloudy. The, main, <laughs> the only time I ever noticed the blood moon like in the sky in my you know like at least currently, it's when no one was posting about it. I saw it by when myself. It was, and no, I was when like, it no. was like when it was like at its peak, I, it, it looked the biggest then, like mm-hmm. when it was like still dusk oh, or whatever. Fun story, at least you know since it, uh, especially. Uh, Pertains to this. Sorry to cut you off. Yeah, it kind of was on a little. Go ahead. Say no, anything. no, it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> Same just, thing. You know, it's that important. I already forgot, so just go ahead. <laughs> uh, he he conveniently forgot. Yeah, I conveniently. Uh, that's what I do. If I if I get interrupted, I just I shove everything else that I was saying away. Okay, cool. Anyway. I'm just kidding. I don't. I don't know. Moving on. Yeah. No. Uh, before we started recording the podcast, like the first day, like the first episode. Mm-hmm. Um, like the previous day, it was like the I noticed that the actual like uh, fall coloring of the sky, you know, like that kind of yeah, yeah, blue, yeah. like that tint fell over and then it started getting colder like that morning. And I was doing my laundry and I was coming back and I, you know it was, the sun was was starting to come out on this side and I saw that you know the the moon on yeah, the other side was that. nice and blue and everything. And the thing is, is that uh, within a uh, uh, the uh, Western uh, symbolism. When you have the sun and the moon together, if I remember correctly, it's essentially bringing in the real world and the, uh, you know, imagination world, dream world, you oh, know, yeah. fictional world, whatever we call it, bringing them together, and that's a creative possibility day. And so, ever since I read that bit of information, I'm like, every time I see that happening, it's a good day. Guess what happened the next day, Mikey? We recorded Freak Fiction. We recorded the first one. <laughs> the first official one. How many pilots did we record? Did we record? Two. No, we recorded four. Oh yeah, we did two at your house. Two at my did, house. And with then my old apartment. One on the laptop by itself, one on a shitty mic, and then two with uh, the mic that you had at your house. I had a, I went out and bought a, like a mic. It was like eighty bucks. This it is how like, long ago our, the, it took. Our, this was about a year ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he, Avengers was still Avengers two was still being filmed. I think I was actually talking to Adam. I was talking to Adam about that a year ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I was like, Adam's probably someone I would like to sit down and talk. Because to. like, yeah. so so what you're so what you're saying basically 
is uh, the, the the moon prophesies my arrival. Yeah. Stop being so egotistical. <laughs> no, prophesy something creatively good, at least for me. So, so, so I, <laughs> you selfish bitch. Some kind of like, Here's another fun thing. I, this is technically, what, the the fourth day that I've known you in my life? Yeah. I We, we don't we, we we all, all work. We, we don't all, hang out. We, we all, like we, I mean, we all work. and Yeah. And the first time I met you was on the first episode. Yeah. But yeah. I was just like, oh, he seems like a cool dude. Yeah. I mean, you guys... And I, 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 I was like, it changes like in an instant because yeah. like... I said, and it's like you know, it's like ugh. no. Right it's now, like you've known each other for years. Yeah. Well, I read, well, when I first met you, I'm like, yeah, this guy's good in five. I can gel with him. Yeah. Because you know, as far as I like, you could be the most interesting person on the planet. If you treat me like an asshole, the second that I meet you, you're an asshole to me forever. I don't give a shit if you cure cancer. Nah, I'm, yeah. not, I'm not that way. I usually try to. But what if you got cancer? You'd be like, I know this guy. He could probably help me out and get, this, <laughs> get rid of this shit. Yeah, I got principles. Fuck that. Yeah. Well, like, <laughs> just I'll, I'll, I'll just die of angry. <laughs> Well, it depends on the person, I guess. <laughs> but yeah. usually, when you, you even Sorry, if you treat me like an right. asshole, I, I'll still treat I still treat you pretty cool. Mm. Yeah. Like and, and unless you're like unless you go get, unless you go off the law and you start like treating other people, I don't yeah. really care how you treat me. But like you start treating treating other people like like shit, mm -hmm. that pisses me off. That yeah, I, I don't get mad very often. Especially but when, like waiters. Yeah, yeah. They're gonna do shit to your food, you dummy. <laughs> don't treat them like shit. No, but, like, uh, for me, like, the main thing that I, like, uh, with all my ex-girlfriends, like, while we're dating, after we're dating, so on and so forth, like, I st I'm still friends with most of my ex-girlfriends. Like, one of them texted me today. Um, Mikey was there. Yeah, I, I can vouch. I, yeah, I always, uh, like, I always asked him, like, oh, what'd you find attractive about me, or, you know, this or that, so on and so forth. It's kind of like a, you know, a freaking uh, insecure thing, but at the same time, it's me learning to, you know, what best qualities I have in the eyes of someone else. And one of the main things that uh, I got back whenever I asked that question of any, you know, you know, uh, love partner, whatever you want to call them, a co-pilot in life, be it, you know, a few days, one night, your life, whatever. That's what I like to call them. I like to call them co-pilots. Co-pilots. <laughs> yeah, it's a fun fact for you folks. Anyways, because, um, like, to me, the world girlfriend or boyfriend, it's just too possessive. And, you know, unless you're into that, it's cool. But <laughs> moving on. And uh, so and I. Unless it's like, the main let's thing, get an apartment together. Like, now you're my girlfriend. Yeah, that's kind of how it is. <laughs> At some point, things click over. Yeah. But no, like, uh, the main thing that I get is that uh, just, they're like, oh, just the way you treat people. Like, you know, I'm like, that's because I treat people the way I want to be treated. Just like, yeah. you know, complete politeness and utter respect. Yeah. You know, just like the, you know, like, they say that respect isn't given, it's earned, right? Well, to me, like, as far as I can tell, like, I give respect freely unless you find, give me a reason to take it away from you. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's basically me. Like, yeah. no matter who you are, I'll, 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 I'll be really cool with you. I'll be like, oh, yeah, this is just another human being. Yeah. But, like, the second you start, you like, Especially like, like pushing other people around and then, like, being a dick to people, and I'm like, dude, yeah. dude, dude, you need to back the fuck up. Okay, cool. Mikey, yeah. how was your week? Did you have more, Adam? Uh, for my week? Yeah. Uh, I mean, oh, because uh, we kind of skipped over yours last time. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I remember fish. that. I you remember saw that. the brown moon. Yeah. And uh, I got my loot crate in. Oh, hey. Oh, nice. Uh, I brought some of this stuff over. Oh, okay. is that what this little lightsaber is? Uh, no, that's actually uh, from from my work. I saw it there in like the collectible section. Oh. And I was like, oh, a lightsaber keychain. And then I bought it. I opened it up. And then I pushed the button. And... Oh, it turns uh, on. Lightsaber switchblade. Oh, and it's a he has a Sith one too. Yeah, wow. we should take a little it, video it, of that for the for the page. It, it's, yeah, we should. It's hilarious because I just imagine like does it make people, the sound? Uh, it's you really know, you do that. I mean, okay, it's it's, it's imagination. Yeah, gotta, it, it, I, I just it's hilarious. still pretty cool. It's open. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> no, it's little or Sith be like. That's like a Jedi button. butter knife. Oh well, yeah, that's what my right brother there. said. He said it looked like the butter knife they used on yeah, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Yeah, <laughs> oh, nice. that's such a good movie. But yeah. it just to, to me, I immediately yeah. thought of like right. people getting mugged in like back alleys on Mos Espa yeah. or something like. That's funny. There's people, some sort of like. That's the it's, 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 it's the help. Push it up. You're having so much fun with this. Oh, oh no, well, not like the, well, like the button. The button. Yeah, you guys can't see it right now. We're gonna yeah, push push something about it, but like it's the it's the Darth Vader one. Oh wait. It's a Darth Vader ew, lightsaber. Ew, ew. But, uh, but yeah, I got a few things. I brought a few things over Keep from going, my buddy. train. Uh, the uh, the theme was uh, was summon. So uh, I, I didn't bring it all. 
because there was a lot of like. Uh, I mean, like what did you say the theme was? I'm uh, like the, the theme was summon, and uh, oh, summon. A, a, lot, a lot of the uh, things, like half of it was like, it was like uh, codes for like app games and shit. It was pretty cool. Yeah. I used the codes already because it was Hearthstone. Mm-hmm. Play Hearthstone. It's really fun. <laughs> but uh, but it was it was summon, and uh, I got a replica. Of the uh, car from Supernatural. Everybody's favorite car. It's at the moment. pretty badass. It's, it's gonna go on my. It's, it's been sitting on my shelf. It's for, nice. It's like slightly bigger than Matchbox size. It kind of looks pre- like. It, uh, it's a pretty legit diecast. Black Beauty in a way. It, it's yeah, got it's got the right uh, it's yeah. got the right license plate. Is that the everything. same car? What kind of car is it? It's a. Uh, is it say? Uh, it? it also kind of looks like Angel's car. It does. Yeah, yeah it does. Well, I guess all black boxy cars, yeah, kind of sports cars, look the same. That's kind of that's kind of the, the okay. go-to paranormal car, like yeah. even with like Men in Black and shit. That's the, just the go-to no, like, cars like that are the go-to paranormal. No, Men in Black had a 1986 Ford LTD. Oh, well, I'd have to just imagine like a black boxy looking retro yeah. car. But when it got to the like, the sequels, it got like more modern. Yeah. Continue, sir. But I was uh, saying it's a '67 Chevy Impala. Yeah, I was going to say it's, it's, it's a Chevy of some sort. Impala, like I think they had an Impala in the Forsaken. Yeah, then, yeah. I, then I got this sweet ass uh, the Pikachu. Movie, you guys check it out, the Forsaken. Got the sweet ass Pikachu. Uh, I guess you, is it a beanie? Is it a cap? I think yeah. it's a cap. A cap. It's, it's adorable. Got, uh, it's got. I think there's cool. actually a name for that specific hat. Uh, I'm pretty sure there is. I think it said it on the tag when I threw the tag away. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cool. if, if, if it was a sticker, if, it would, if the tag would have been a sticker, it's got like the strings it. and the balls on the side. Yeah, it's got. <laughs> the, it's, it's got. It's got poke poke, balls. Poke balls yeah. Hanging off the side of my face. <laughs> <laughs> got to catch and it's got it's Pikachu. And he's and, got a little uh, Pikachu ears going. It's, it's pretty. It's pretty badass. And then uh, it goes. It goes with the summon theme. Yeah. But uh, and then uh, I got a uh, little little Homer uh, Buddha statue. That's awesome. That's he's got really good. Pretzels. He's sitting on a donut. He's sitting on a donut, and he's got a pretzel in one hand. Is he got a trick? And a he's star, a, a, and the removal. It's like a pearl necklace with the Star Trek yeah. thing on there. That's pretty well. It's, I think it's just supposed to be a knot, but like, yeah. Oh, like, like okay. he's got a. It looked like. I, I immediately. Oh, it does. I, I immediately <laughs> thought of like Mardi Gras beads for some reason. Oh, yeah. I, know, I know they're like significant to like cool. Buddhism and shit. If you know, that was, you, you gonna burn incense yeah. for him? Is that gonna be like your god now? That's pretty cool. Yeah. And, uh, we'll, we'll do it. Rub it'd be cool to have a big one. Though. What the hell? Uh, and then I got a couple other things. Rub Homer Buddha's yeah. belly for obesity. And, and that and that was pretty. That, that was all I brought for that. Okay. Also, I got a uh, I got a book in the mail yesterday. Ooh, book. I don't know if you guys know who my pet skeleton is, <laughs> but uh, no, he's uh, he's a really cool like artist, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah. he the- makes freaky kind of gothy art. And uh, he he re- a couple months ago he released he re- he like released the uh, the the trailer for his uh, book for his short film My Lady Paranormal The Lady Paranoma. And that's this book. And this is the book, the book version. The art, the artwork. Oh, if you, if you guys ever seen Scary Stories of Terror in the Dark, it kind of looks like that artwork. There's that's gonna be a movie soon. Scary Stories of Terror in the Dark. It yeah. better be as scary as the original artwork because yeah. if they go with the modern artwork, it's gonna suck. The yeah. Modern artwork's way too kid really friendly. Yeah. But uh, it's got some pretty good cred. It's got a, it's got a Girl. recommendation: Guillermo del Toro, Clive Barker. Yeah. And Those are uh, great names to have. If. The in the uh, in the short film, the short film's like five five minutes long, and it's narrated by Peter Murphy <laughs> from uh, Boo House. It's awesome. I don't, I always I'm always afraid I'm gonna butcher that name because I listen to their music and I love their music, but I, I'm always afraid someone's gonna correct me. Is it is it Boo House? As far as I can tell, yeah. Okay, because I'm not an expert either. So. House, it's house. No if we're wrong, we're wrong together. I have really no yeah, because <laughs> I remember I've heard Bo House, I've heard Boo House, I've heard Boo Hoo's. <laughs> <laughs> the boohoo's. Yeah. I, know, I, I, I really like that style. Yeah, it, it, it's pretty. It looks kind of like a rider and boohoo's. It's really dark. But it's, 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 really, it's really dark and morbid, but it's kind of sort of like a fairy tale, sort of. Tell, you know, have to take tell everybody what it is again. Uh, the artist? No, the name of the oh, book. The, 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 the book. Yeah. It's uh, The Lady Paranorma. By? Paranorma by Vincent Mar- Margon. I think no, because he's, he's Canadian, he's Canadian, yeah. so he's probably on sorry friends or something like that. Margot, but uh, he goes by the, really like uh, the alias. He goes by the alias My Pet Skeleton. Mm-hmm. Sometimes he says that name's his real name because that's the name everybody knows him by. Exactly. Well, that's kind of like you know, with like the names you're born with and the names you embrace, kind of like Magneto. So. Yeah. 
It's a re- I read it. It's a really simple read, but it it's wanna... it's just it's a really good story, and mm-hmm. it's got really beautiful artwork. It's a really like heartfelt story too. Uh-huh. Cool. Check it out, folks. This reminds me just I mean it's like makes me miss collecting Hot Wheels. Oh yeah, he's talking about the supernatural. I, mean, part. I don't. I mean I'm not a big like car guy. Like I'm I don't, I'm not into like having a nice car. My or favorite Hot Wheels. But I love toy cars yeah, and toy... movie cars. Yeah. Like I love the... toy cars too. But it's because my dad, I love cars in general, but yeah. I'm not like as big, I'm not as big on it as because of my dad. My dad's yeah. like a hot rod guy. Yeah. He knows, he knows a lot about cars and he's always like giving me like guru tips on my car. Oh, cool. And like, um, that's always good to have. He used to, he used to buy Hot Wheels with me for all the time. I'm at <clears throat> Hot Wheels all the time. And, uh, he used to like build a track with me when he gets home from work and then we would play in the floor and everything whenever like two, three, four, when I was five like really early years and I have like two duffel bags in my closet right now in my room for like I'll take them 2,000 Hot Wheels in yeah. each bag dude like, I, I want I, 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 I'm sure there's some rare ones in there like uh, cause I yeah cause I, I know like the uh, I know like the red line ones the red, I've, my dad always told me the red line ones were really were really like, uh, really like they're gonna be uh, like uh, collectibles there are they are collectibles they're gonna yeah. be really worth something that's cool but uh, I don't know. I need to. There's so much shit in my closet. Closet like, uh, like, like old clothes and costumes and shit that I never <laughs> use, and like this duffel bags full of toys and shit I that I forget about. Yeah. There's a there's a few like movie cars that I really want to collect, oh, yeah. and one especially, dude, is the they made and they made them a while back. I think maybe like the '90s or they. I don't know. Yeah. But it's the DeLorean. Oh back yeah, in the yeah, future. yeah. And it's, I know it's, what you're talking about. It's oh. not. It's not like mini, like a hot rod. They're, no. they're they're like about six. It's feet, like the Franklin six mid-size. inches long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And dude, those things I've looked on the internet. They're like super, made out of super hard metal. Yeah, it's it's super detailed. so detailed, dude. Yeah. It's ridiculous. I saw them too. Those are I think amazing. it has like a little working flux capacitor. I saw. T- I saw the the Back to the Future one and two DeLoreans at Van Stock. And I, was Dude, can, I want. There's a thing with a set of all three of them yeah. on a like little stand. You can get a. Uh, you can get a, a like a like a really bad. I don't. It might even be remote control. I'm not sure. It better. But it's a really badass like a None of those like ones. a replica of a uh, DeLorean. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure if they have it now still. Mm-hmm. But it was at a. It was at GameStop. Oh. Okay. They had it because because uh, the past few months they've been getting all sorts of crazy collectible shit in there. Like they had, they had those Funko Pop. Figures everywhere now. Uh, yeah. They have like, uh, they have like, like yeah, retro. Yeah, getting overloaded with those Funko Pops things. Have you the, speaking of that just real fast? Have you seen the joke, the new Joker one they're coming out with? New Joker one for the uh, for the Funko Suicide Pop. Squad. Suicide Squad. Yeah. I have not. How is it? Oh god, dude, it looks so cool. Like uh, that makes yeah, me like, I, if I ever get, I mean, I have one. I have a Star Lord over there. Yeah, yeah. But, but you got I that? Ever, where'd you get that at? And how much? I got that. I found that at a uh, an antique store. Like mm-hmm. maybe like. When I moved here like six months ago, yeah, like why is this in an antique store already? <laughs> yeah, three bucks. Three bucks. Uh, they're, they're usually like uh, they're usually like eight Fif- bucks, eight or nine bucks at a. Yeah. At a Some board. of the more popular ones are like fifteen, twenty. My sister has a ton. There, there are there are big ass ones like uh, like you can get a Thanos one Ooh. that's big as shit. It's like oh, this tall. It's like, uh, it's, it's, like, it's, like, like it's like it's like it's like fifteen or sixteen bucks. Yeah. Saying, yes. yeah. But like I was, like I was saying though. Uh, yeah. Fuck! What was I saying? Uh, we were talking about. Well, that's the end of his week. We were talking about. Uh, <laughs> we were talking about collectible shit at GameStop. Yeah. Yeah. Pa- yeah. The past few weeks, or past few months, rather, mm-hmm. they have been getting a lot of badass shit in there for like the collectibles, and they have like a, you might like these. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, we'll all like them, but mm-hmm. you're you're kind of a DC guy, are you? Aren't you? I just love comics in general. But comics in general. Yeah, but I'm, not, me, I'm not like, really. DC's the more serious I'm, stuff. Marvel's more fun. Well, well, well that's like I'm not really. Uh, Go DC ahead. What do you think? What do you think like? But they have like uh, like like. Statues like retro futuristic kind of like pinup style like like fifty boys and fifties statues of like Hot Girl and like Wonder Woman and all these like oh, um, they're like pinup style yeah yeah they're drawn like they're, that's they're, fucking awesome they're, they're like pinup style like like how like, much uh, man uh, I think they're like fuck I don't know I want to say that they're probably like twenty or thirty bucks that's okay. But like, I'd have to see them in real life. Yeah, well, I need to, I need to look at them again because I'm not sure of the price. But well, they're pre- they're pretty badass. They still have that DeLorean up there that you know. Of? Uh, I haven't been there in a I would, couple weeks. So uh, I got to sit in a replica of the DeLorean at uh, the I movie would, theater at uh, 101st. Oh yeah, and 
Yeah, I remember. Oh my gosh, dude. They I just, advertised I, that and I wanted to go to that so bad. Oh, dude, I got to sit. I just, I, I didn't like have anybody with me because I drove by and I was like, It's there! <laughs> <laughs> you like, caught the car pile up yeah. just to get to the door. Yeah, that reminds me. And I got to pull. I, it wasn't one of the ones from the movie, obviously. Okay, but, yeah. It's one of the, uh, it's one of the people. ones that rolls around. Like, yeah, but the, dude, it was Max really stuff. freaking cool looking. Yeah. It had everything in the back. But I was like touching the flux. I was helping there. my brother drive his uh, his car to uh, to uh, the, to get repaired. And on the way there, I saw someone driving by in a Jurassic Park Jeep. That's uh, amazing. I've seen that actually before. Yeah. I've seen it parked at like Taco Bell or something like yeah. that. Yeah, those guys are like obviously hanging around town. You know, yeah, they probably be badass. They probably just own one of those rap places, you know, they do uh -huh. graphics and Speaking stuff. Speaking of the DeLorean, I remember um, uh, a while back, this uh, I get my my dental work because I can't afford a dentist done at the TCC mm -hmm. for 20 bucks, depending on, you know, what they do. Yeah. I haven't. So I, I suggest that. You can get your teeth cleaned for 20 bucks there. I don't. I've never gone to the dentist. You should. I don't need to. Your teeth, man. No, no. I, I don't. You're in Oklahoma. My teeth matter. I, I brush my teeth every day, oh, okay. two or three times a day. Oh, good. And do you, do I you always floss? use mouthwash. Uh, well, I usually don't need to floss, but I will floss whenever I need to. Okay, good job. But you're, like, you're a good responsible young man. Yeah, but like, I've never had to go. Okay. My brother, on the other hand, yeah. went. He has to go all the time. Of course. He does the exact same thing I do. But he ha but for some reason he just has you got problems with his teeth. teeth. <laughs> like like when, but when I was little it was the it was opposite for me. I didn't brush my teeth like at all when I was like a really little kid because I'm like because I didn't like the way it felt to my teeth. Yeah, it's like I'm like teeth. this this is uncomfortable. I don't want to do this shit. Yeah. So I, I like mom are you my mom would be like are you brush your teeth in there? I'm like yeah. It's a wet and then, but like I I would hardly brush my teeth. And my brother would brush his teeth. He would see he was saying throughout his whole life he brushed his teeth all the fucking time. Like six times a day, not really, but like a lot. Yeah. I never had problems with my teeth. My teeth were always like white. Pristine, His teeth yeah. would like get cavities and shit. He would always have to go to the dentist. I'm like, what? What? What the hell is going his on? His teeth are your Dorian Gray teeth. All of your teeth problems are going into his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, anyway, so like four appointments in a row. I, I, you know, I'd park my truck, and then as soon as I came out, right next to it. Some kid who was driving a DeLorean was parked. And I was like, I want to know who this kid is because he's driving a DeLorean around. Seriously. <laughs> or, you know, or an adult that's going back to school. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, whenever, whenever he mentioned seeing the DeLorean. That store was more interesting to me than you guys, obviously. Yeah. Whenever he mentioned, <laughs> that, up, whenever he mentioned sitting in the DeLorean before, yeah. huh? I thought he was going to end it by, I saw the DeLorean and I had sex in the back of the DeLorean. Oh, uh, dude. I don't think there was a back. In a perfect world, that's how every story like that. I thought he was gonna say he had sex in the DeLorean, and I was like, with the, I, like, I was like, damn, oh, Mikey. With the model the who was displaying it, who looked just like Marty's mom. Hmm. I think I kicked one of you guys <laughs> or kicked the table. Is that is that again. is that a is Sorry. that everything? Uh, let me see. He he brought a backpack, so. Yeah. Oh, I, well, that was all the. That's shit. everything. Okay. Basically, all the shit. Unless you, so, that's your week. Uh, yeah, my week was just books, loot crate poisoning, and blood moves. Did you say, you said loot crate poisoning? <laughs> loot crate poisoning. <laughs> got, I don't know, you, you they, can get that poisoning sometimes. Full of Maybe goodness. that's, yeah. You, you can get that sometimes, whenever, like, you run out of money. <laughs> and you start and, eating and, and then, like, the stuff in your loot crate. You question your loot crate subscription. <laughs> I, if I, if I wasn't living by myself, I'd probably get a loot crate subscription. <laughs> but I gotta pay all my own bills and shit, so. Mikey, how's your week, sir? It was pretty good. Something actually really crazy happened. Uh, oh yeah. When I when after we filmed last week's episode, and I took Rudy home, I was driving back home. Mm -hmm. I was going. I don't. I'm not gonna say where I was, but <laughs> I was going. It was in an area where it's like 50 miles an hour. Yeah. Zone, you yeah. Know? There's like four. There's, there's right other there. cars on the other lane of me going by, you know, mm -hmm. and this dude's behind in front of me, and he's going like 25 miles an hour. And I'm like, I'm thinking, okay, maybe he's going to turn. He's just not using his signal or brakes because mm -hmm. he's a jackass. Mm -hmm. But no, he just kept going real slow. So I'm like, I'm just going to pass him. I didn't like do it like, burr, burr. I just kind of. Like I did last week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just got into the other lane and kind of just went around him casually because I'm like, this dude's going like half the speed limit. Yeah. And we get, it was during traffic too. There's a lot of people backed up and mm -hmm. I, I'm sitting there and all of a sudden I hear a Get the fuck out of the car, motherfucker. Come on, get out. What the heck do you think you're going to do? Or what are you doing? 
And he was hitting my window a couple times so hard, I kind of was like, I had to get out of my car. I didn't want him to shatter my window. And he starts pushing me at the, so- uh, the, the, the top of my chest. He's like, Damn. what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I said, dude, you push me one more time. I'm going to hit you. He pushed me. I reached back and I, I hit him right in the face. Damn. And he hit the ground. <laughs> <laughs> And, wow. like, at that point, like, my adrenaline's pumping, like, so I got in my car, I'm just like, I'm driving off, like, he started it, like. What'd he look like, like? He was, like, late 50s, early 60s, Oh, kind of. just, just like a really old, you know, grumpy old fire? Yeah, I mean, I mean, he, yeah, he probably fought in a war or two, I don't know, you know? <laughs> well, he's, he's old enough to have I mean, he was pushing more. me back, I, I didn't want to hit the ground, you know, because this is, like, in the middle of traffic, almost. Yeah, so cars were zipping by while he was pushing at you? And, and I just, I mean... Through my, I mean, you've always got to just be prepared to throw a punch. Yeah. I mean, you got to, everybody needs to learn a little bit of self-defense. Yeah. Because, I mean, growing up, I had a little brother. We used to fight all the time. Even my sister and I, we'd fist fight all the time. Just, like, punch Holy each shit. other, slapping each other. Like, and then, you know, I was bullied throughout school. And I, there was, from probably fifth grade to, like, seventh grade, I kind of just took it. And people would, like, like literally jump me on the playground and, like, beat me up. Damn, I remember we used to beat our own, beat our own asses on the playground in like in like yeah. uh, grade school because we would always like. So you fight club. You guys were school. like, dude, we, we, we want to get beat we, up we, like we, that. And we would fight we ourselves. Fight. We we would fight each other amongst oh. our own group and like because okay. we we would make up really violent games like uh, I don't know just like the, like this thing where we just, it was basically we tackle each other for no reason yeah. and we just beat the shit out of each other. And then we were like, oh, it's badass. And we, we, we'd limp to the, whenever lunch was over, we'd limp back to the classroom. And I remember we made up like a, uh, our own version of like uh, soccer mixed with football, mixed with violence and death. Mm-hmm. We called it Fokker Ball. And it was basically just us tackling the shit out of each other. So mm-hmm. essentially you invented for children rugby. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> we, we were really little. We, we, we were really we were like, Fokker Ball sounds amazing. Let's call it Fokker Ball. That just reminds me, like, I, uh, I worked with a really a really cute girl at my previous job, and I didn't know until, like, I don't know, two months in that she played rugby. And I was just like, shit. Sorry. Yeah, it's kind of... Oh, That's what happens whenever well, you're... You know, and I was, you know, whenever your dog six, talks for a second. Keep going. Through sixth and seventh grade, like, I kind of just took it. Like, I yeah. just didn't, you know, just because I didn't want to say anything or tell anybody. Yeah. But there was one time, like, this kid in, in the hallway was, like, pushing me, and he's calling me gay and all these other words that I just don't like saying. Mm-hmm. And, uh... And I just, like, I just, like, couldn't, I couldn't take it anymore. I turned around, and I pushed him with, like, I don't know, with, like, it was, like, a mother lifting her the car off her baby, you know? Like, <laughs> this kid, like, flew back. I'm not even joking. I, like, hit his back on the locker. Mikey will take this no more. I mean, and I'm not, like, a violent person and stuff, you know, br- brother and sister fighting, that's kind of just... Yeah, like, that's, that's kind of... That's that's it's kind of average. average. It's just average. Yeah, I'm sure it's everybody average. does that Everybody's at one point or punched their brother or sister at least once in their life. Unless your parents are hippies. Yeah. yeah. Or you don't have... Or, you or, don't, or, 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 you're, or they're all, like, well, stoners. There's, there's a standard, like, sibling rivalry yeah. fight. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but anyway, you know... You're fucking I, neck because your brother or sister's an idiot. But, you know, I just... You always... I just feel like everybody should, you know... So basically, you went Super Saiyan. On yeah, the, well, the, I mean, the kid. it you was know? just a crazy situation. It all happened so fast in the moment, and I, I have a family member in law enforcement, and I, mm-hmm. so I yeah. called him up, and I was like... We're, we're back to the... Okay, the, you know, yeah, back, back to, to the, the whole thing. And I was like, I, it's like, hey, hey I just this just happened, blah, 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 blah. And he mm-hmm. goes, well, it's that's considered mutual combat. Mm-hmm. He started the... He started the fight, and he also was violating the flow of traffic or yeah. impeding the flow of traffic or something. Mm-hmm. He's I like, don't be worried about it. And he was like, good. He goes, I would have punched him too. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, cause he, I mean, this is an older guy. I mean, yeah. I'm thinking he's like, he's driving his truck, and he sees this. I have a little blue car with like Star Wars stickers on it and stuff like that. And he probably saw me drive by. I got glasses. I look nerdy. Maybe he's like... That made me like way less intimidating. Exactly, I, yeah. I hate that. So then That's he gets probably. out and he's banging on my window. I'm like, so I, I had to get out. Like, trying. I was trying to calm him down. Like, dude, I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to be aggressive. Like, I was just passing you because you're going really slow. I mean, he could have said like, my truck's broke breaking down or something. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, instead yeah. of just like immediately start pushing me. I'm like, dude, he had to be on drugs. Like. Mm-hmm. He had, like, the face of, like, 
like when you, you when your dad's like chasing after you. Oh, like shit! Like get into you know? the big coke face, just yeah. like yeah. 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 He like he was exactly. on like PCP or something. He's probably smoking or I mean he didn't I didn't smell alcohol on him. Man. I was pretty close to him because he was get. I mean we're in Oklahoma. Maybe it was a little mad. He was pretty strong. Yeah, was, yeah. If, if, if it was anything, it was probably mad. Yeah. Continue. No, nobody on heroin or who smokes weed would get out of their car at all. Yeah, yeah. They'd they're probably just like, like fall yeah. asleep at the wheel. Yeah. Like, well, what the fuck happened? Ugh. Something happened? You want to fight? Yeah. <laughs> 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 like That's fall back cool. and just fall asleep? Yeah, mm. like weed isn't a, you know, doesn't make you aggressive. It's more like a sit down that's and hang That's actually, out. that's a story for another day. I actually almost got in a fight with the, with a guy that was on heroin at Rock, Oklahoma a couple of years ago. Well, that will be for another time. It was random. I didn't initiate it. This guy, I'm just going to tell it now. This guy, <laughs> this guy where me and my friend had a, a big tent set up, and yeah. we had our, our sleeping places and stuff, and we had my car over there, and we had mm-hmm. music, we had the windows down, music was playing. Mm-hmm. And this, di- this dude, I mean, he was drunk too, but he was like, he walked up, he's like, God, I need H. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I mean, at the time, I really didn't like kind of put that in my you head. You didn't know the slang? Yeah. This was like three years ago and we were just we were just drinking all day and just like, no out. dude I don't have hepatitis. <laughs> and, you know, and I was like, hey, she's like, hey. and he's like falling down. I mean, I guess he smelled like freaking whiskey. And uh, my friend Nick comes over because he sees this guy, like he's like kinda getting real close to me, but then he's like kinda falling back and stuff. Mm-hmm. And then at Rock, Oklahoma, you're just like at a big campsite. There's a bunch of tents and campers and stuff around you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So everybody's kind of realizing this guy because he starts to yell. And Nick was like, just, you want a cookie, man? You want some <laughs> And my friend Nick comes over and he gives the guy a cookie, he like, takes a bite, and he looks at me and he goes, he reaches back and he swung. I mean, and it was the sl- it was just like... Hey. <laughs> he just, went to punch you after taking a bite out of a cookie. And then I just, I, was, I just, I just went like this, and I went back. You definitely like, have to be on heroin if you're gonna punch <laughs> someone after getting. I mean, I saw, I saw it a mile away, so I was kind of just like tilted my head back. Yeah, that, that was, yeah, really telling <laughs> punches. When and then he like reached into our cooler and like grabbed a beer and opened it, and then walked off. <laughs> but there was one part where he like had a hat on, like it was like it was kind of, I don't know what it called. It was like uh, the the fedora style, but it was flat and it was longer around. Oh, oh yeah, that like was... it was a bigger circle around the hat. Yeah, yeah. I don't know the it's like the fedora top, but I got the longer. visual. Yeah. Anyway, but he like took it off and like threw it off like he just graduated high school. <laughs> <laughs> and so, and then I I, I took the hat. And yeah. I had a little story behind it too. Then I it it didn't fit my head very well. It's a conversation my piece. Head's so big, mm-hmm. so I gave it to my uncle. It was yeah, a really dude, dude, on dude. It was like a two hundred dollar hat. I oh, looked really? it up. Oh, cool. And Holy anyway, shit. so this guy starts walking off, or mm-hmm. starts walking off. You know, these guys were just like, whatever, just let they let him be. Yeah. <laughs> and as this was happening, I look over, and there's one of those uh, police officers in the little golf carts talking to the lady, and she's like pointing <laughs> over there at us. Yeah. And we're just like, oh, we're just gonna go to walk up to the stage so we can watch the next show. And he's mm-hmm. like, okay. You know, it's like, you deal with it, you know. <laughs> so he ends up, like, walking up to this guy, and this dude starts running. I mean, but it's like, he's on heroin, he's really drunk. <laughs> so he, he thinks he's, like, like speeding, like, you know, but he's just like... He thinks he's the Flash. It's like that scene half-baked after they get high. And like, yeah, They think exactly. they're going normal, but it's, like, super, super slow. Yeah. Uh, that was just another crazy time. I don't know, people always... I, I've got a face that I think people want to hit, I guess. I don't know. Don't say that. I know I don't. Yeah, don't. I don't know. Don't. Uh, I know. I'm it's just saying. You, you it's just say funny that. because people like. Because uh, it's really my sis- when I told my sister who I was making podcasts with, she goes, "Oh, I hate that guy." I'm like, "You don't even know him." <laughs> Why does she? Maybe she's thinking about my brother. Uh, maybe because I said, "Oh, it's, it's uh, Mikey White." She goes, "Oh no, is it that cops kids? Those those, those kids are." Uh, well, those kids are assholes. I was like, what? What? He's one of the nicest people. Matt is a, Matt is my bro. Uh, well, he's not close to this. My <laughs> brother's a douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> he's just got a bad attitude and stuff, and he's he come. I mean, I've never. I don't like him, so I just kind of buy proxy. Well, in right? high school, like, I wouldn't call myself. I wasn't popular until like my senior year, because mm-hmm. I was doing like video stuff for everybody and yeah i was an av tech so i was that was like that was the you're, you're the renaissance there. man of yeah CD. so everybody knew who i was i mean maybe someone came and talked to me and i kind of you know was just like busy or do something to do it you know mm-hmm. or blew them off yeah i just i just knew so many people in school because because who my dad was i 
went there for seven years of my yeah. life and I got you. And then and then in high school people started to like stop like realizing like hey you're not you're not that you're not that bad. And like and that's like the senior breakfast like the last day of school they're like you know what dude you're all right. You know? <laughs> that's the moment I want to realize. But I, I was like I guess it's better to end on a good note to where people have a better yeah. memory of me. That should be the sequel to Breakfast Club the senior breakfast. <laughs> yeah. No, like it's like another sixty-five year anniversary. Uh, oh God, that'd be sad. So like, I, I was taken aback whenever my sister yeah. said that. I'm like, that doesn't sound like him at all. Like, what? Like, what? Did you, did you mean yeah, like what experience? It's, it's, it's like doppelganger. Yeah. Like, like yeah. it's weird. Did, did you say like what? What? What did he do? To, like, I don't know. Maybe my mom. My mom kind of sort of. I she got hurt. Those were bad kids. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? People <laughs> just assume since we have. Uh, family members and law enforcement that we're just gonna be pricks that we're just yeah. gonna be like I don't know kids. it was weird I mean like after I, I, was, I, was, good, like, I was good in high school I mean after I, I, high school I've like, explained to my mom my dad writes like, the tickets yeah. what are you gonna do what I've already do? explained to my mom since we, we started the podcast yeah. I'm like he's, he's a really good guy like we, he's like I don't know what guys what you guys are talking about she goes oh man I'm thinking of somebody else <laughs> <laughs> Matt was just dumb and got I mean I was a good kid in high school like yeah. I mean I I got in a few fights here and there, but it was because I was either standing up for somebody or someone was picking on me. Mm -hmm. I was, it was always retaliation. It wasn't like, I'm going to go p fight this motherfucker. Yeah. Like, All four of my brothers were that way. I, would, I would never, unless it was like somebody like beat my brother up or my sister up or, mm -hmm. or a, a girlfriend of my mind. a girlfriend of mine's, you know, boyfriend beat her up or whatever, mm -hmm. I would go, probably go. I mean, if something's like, done, Mike is going to do something about it. Yeah, I'm like, that's, that's I'm like Batman. Doing. I'm not going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to hurt you really, really bad. <laughs> that's not Batman. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, that's, that's, the, that's not yeah, Batman. That's the, that's the thing, again, back to... I just, it, it kind of just continued into that. Cause that's the thing that bothers me, though, like, getting back to the guys, like, oh, I look in, less intimidating by, you know, for whatever so reason. You're, so like, you're... Perceptions and shit. Like, uh, uh, here's the thing, like, uh... It's the whole David and Goliath Yeah, thing. recently, like, when we were thinking about topics for, you know, the, the podcast where we did the, you know, the Jason Todd theory, during that mm -hmm. week, I was at work, and, uh, I was talking to a friend at work who's, you know, into the same shit I am, and we're, we're always, we usually talk about it at work whenever things are slow. I don't work there anymore, but, uh, but, uh, I, we were talking, it was slow, it was me and him, and then, uh, and, uh, you know, an older gentleman who worked there was walking by, and we were talking about, uh, he brought up the, you know, the, you hear about the fan theory about, you know, it being Jason Todd, and I was just like, oh yeah, I heard that blah, blah, blah the other day, and then the guy just in passing, he was like, you know, there's a pretty popular fan theory about guys who talk about the shit and never get laid, and then just kind of walked off, and I was just like, you know, there's a popular theory about people who think that we're a total fucking cunts. Okay, a few people are going to be upset that I use that word, but guess what, I very rarely use that word, and I only use it when I mean it, and I only call them in that. Moving on. So, like, that's the thing that really pisses me off and stuff like that. Like, people's perceived, uh, like, old school stereotypes of yeah. what a kind of person is. You know what I mean? Like, just because you like comics, that means you don't get laid at all? No, fuck you. Uh, <laughs> you know how many hot girls I know that love comics? Uh, th there are quite a few. There are quite comics. a few, yeah. I'm, I'm not sure if I mentioned this before, yeah, but yeah. I, I've had a girl, like, stop talking to me because I had a bunch of comics in my room. Really? Yeah. That's bullshit. Well, fuck yeah. her. That's when I lived in my other apartment and I had them all over the walls. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Like, oh all, yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks so cool. Like you walk in my apartment, there's yeah, like you had a bunch of, bunch of collectibles, like a, a bunch like of a gallery. Comics. Yeah, yeah, dude. And then my a, a roommate I had like would paint this really ob obscure, like funny art. Like there's this one like this giant girl is just sitting on a farm and you can like see her butt. <laughs> <laughs> it's just random stuff like yeah. that, you know. And uh, she was like, "Why do you have all these comics on your wall?" I'm like. I like comic. What kind of question is that? <laughs> and she stayed over and hung out, and then she like told me later on it was just kind of weird. Like she thinks of, that's weird she nowadays. Creepy. I was like, nowadays when like creepy. How is that creepy? Seriously, like, and you're not like sitting there like saying like weird creepy things. You're just hanging out. And she's I'm not like sitting next to her like, hey, you want to read one of my Spider Man? You're, you're not dressing yeah. up like Batman during no. sex. Yeah, and it was it was a really cool casual time. I. My other roommates were there. We mm -hmm. all sat around and watched a movie and mm -hmm. ate pizza and that drank, like good drank some beers. It was fun. And what'd she look like? Was she like a rich bitch or something? Yeah, she was a girl I worked with. She was short, brunette. Oh, I know what you're talking about now. Yeah, who cares about her? Yeah, <laughs> look, yeah she doesn't. Moving on. Not yeah, worth right. talking about. Yeah. 
But no, see, that's the thing. Like, it's for me, like, it's the second you say something like that, you announce to the universe that you're a fucking dinosaur. You're an anachronism, okay? <laughs> because it's just letting you know that everyone in the around you know that you're stuck in your ways. And that's the thing that I hate most because my dad, not, here's something fun for you people. My dad is like 85 right now. Holy shit. Yeah. Yes. Here's some more holy shit moments for you because I don't know if you're, oh, no, them, Adam. Guess what? what? I am the youngest of like 20 kids. Oh my god. I have four immediate brothers and like 19 half brothers. Holy shit. Yeah, my dad did his thing. You're gonna hear that a lot in the story. Yeah, <laughs> moving on. But like, it, and because of that, I was an old moment my dad is. I was raised like World War II, like uptight style, right? Yeah. So, you know, you, you can, knowing this now, it can, it comes to light certain aspects of my personality and why I'm this way. But, specifically because of this way, I don't want to be stuck in my fucking own ways, right? I'm constantly trying to evolve and move with the times. Like, it's not fucking, like, action hero Sylvester Stallone, Schwarzenegger in their prime time anymore now, where it's all about the alpha male. It's the fucking nerds did now. It's fucking, it's Jesse Eisenberg. It's, uh, you know, Michael Cera. It's Edward Norton. Those are the stars of today now. Yeah, right? nerds gotta, rule the world now. Exactly. We created the shit that is running your world. Yeah. iPads and everything right now, yeah. okay? <laughs> So you just gotta... You wouldn't have all your fancy apps without the nerds. You wouldn't have fucking Facebook without Zuckerberg, <laughs> so suck it, okay? But moving... The, the, my, my, my main point is, it's like, for me, it's all about constantly shifting and changing with the times. Because there's this old... Not that that old. It's kind of still fairly recent uh, theory. It's called the segment theory about how uh, the youth culture interacts with the solar way... Uh, you know, the, the fucking solar cycles. And like every 11 years it goes, flips from the positive to the negative spectrum. And from that, you have the aggressive and then you have the passive uh, polarity. So, you have the hippie, in, which is the nice one's term, and then you have, you know, the punk rock one. Right? Yeah. That's because it's the most aggressive way of describing it, right? So, like, saying this, if we're starting from the 60s and that's hippie, you go back, you got 50s, guess what happens there? You have, hey, Elvis, right? You yeah, have Greasers, Greasers right? and stuff. Going back, you have, again, back to the hippie kind of, because what was popular then in the youth subculture? Jazz, beat poets, okay? All right, then moving from the 60s, you get to the 70s. What was invented in the 70s? Punk rock, <laughs> right? But then you go into the 80s. What's at the height of the 80s? You know, fucking, you know, super acidic, not acidic, but like drug, antsy, uh, uh, cocaine. cocaine. Cocaine, there we go. I don't do that many drugs, so. Um, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. You got, yeah, you got cocaine, you got hyperactive, like, you know, get up and fucking punch someone in the face drugs, right? Then you get 90s. What happened in the 90s? It was kind of back to Michael mellow. Jackson happened yeah. in the 90s. Yeah, was I was but, born, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the 90s. And then what happens in, uh, you know, in 2000s, people kind of get aggressive again. You have new, you have new metal, you have Matrix, and you have, you know, goth becomes, you know, mainstream. Right, and right now where we're at, you know, 2010s, what's popular right now? Mumford and Sons, anything with a fucking ukulele. Yeah. So yeah, but this, hey. yeah, this is just a theory. Mandolin. I, I like ukulele. Mandolin. Yeah, whatever, but it sounds like a ukulele to people who don't listen to music. Mm -hmm. But, uh, moving on. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Here's the fetid because you have to have a ukulele, yeah, and I, I totally mean. told you that if I could find a ukulele at an affordable price, There's I would. One, like, right I played a, a, a Fender ukulele, it was like 200 bucks, sounded just like yours. Yeah, dude. How much did like, yours cost? Like thirty bucks? No, eighty. Oh, oh 80? shit! He does have a ukulele back yeah, there. Yeah, I have one. I've never noticed that. But it's the it's, fuck. There's yeah, one right well, there too. Well, that's, that's like, that's like a novelty one. one. My parents got that for me when they this were. This is a novelty Hawaii. Hawaii one, but it sounded just like that. Yeah. Okay, well, that's not even. You can't even really tune. Yeah. It's weird. It's out of tune. Moving on, who gives a shit about that? But yeah, that's the thing. Like, there's for as much proof as I have that this is a true theory. There's just as much uh, way you can disprove it. But no, because of that, when I learned that theory. I was just like, okay, then I just got to constantly evolve with the time, so that way, like, I don't become a stiff, you know, uh, fucking, uh, you know, a white supremacist piece of shit bastard, and suddenly <laughs> stuck in the ways, because that's getting back to, like, in, like, uh, you know, 21 Jump Street? Yeah. Like, uh, again, that's where uh, Jonah Hill and fucking Channing Tatum learned, you know, like, it's the nerds time now, and he, uh, uh, Jonah Hill says in the movie, like, if I was born 10 years later, I would be the coolest guy in the school, Right. But then you get to Chan Tatum when he's getting to the shit that he's used to and he's reporting back to Ice Cube. He's just like, he's just like, no, I don't get it. They're all nerdy and crunchy. Like, it's weird and it's backward and I don't like it. I it's hate funny, it. It's funny. Isn't, it, isn't it like uh, all, all the cool kids like are like all about like and saving the environment? Exactly. Now. They're all like <laughs> green. They're all like, yeah, my car is like, runs on biodegradable. Yeah, all the cool kids are like, <laughs> the, you know, like, it's funny. 
it's like, your car smells like egg rolls. Yeah, it's made from fry oil from blah, blah, blah. So I was just like, yeah. But yeah, it's just like that. The second, like, for some people, they just, if they can't understand it and they don't like it, it just, no, nothing, nothing past it. Ew, fuck it. Ew, yeah. No, it's just stuck in that way, right? To me, though, that's just like the ultimate way of like just dying in your soul spiritually. Yeah. It's just like just stopping somewhere. Because to me, see, for me, it's like there's, instead of like two basic people, there's like three basic people, right? There's squares and there's circles and then there's like, I guess you would say rhombuses, right? Which is, you know, the one that's got the flat bottom and a yeah, round yeah. top. I think it's called rhombus. I failed all forms of math. Moving on. Yes. Right. But what happens to a square? It stays still. Can't fucking move. Circle goes where the fuck it can, whatever it wants. Follows the breeze, right? Goes end up in the fucking canyon. Oh, this is what this looks like. Rolls away. Oh, this is what the Mississippi River looks like. This is what New York looks like. So on and so forth, right? Now, the interesting person is the rhombus. They're the person that can have their firm ground, but they can also move and yeah. flow with the cycles and so on and so forth. All three of us are kind of that way, right? Yeah. I've always I've always seen myself more uh, as more of a rhombus, but I like want to be a circle. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I get it. I told you guys last week. I'm gonna say weird shit. Get used to it. Yeah. But yeah. That's that's for me. That's what that's what I'm, I'm trying to constantly be a circle, right? But everyone else around me is like fucking squares, except you two and you know a few other people and so on and so forth. Yeah, I've always kind of been all over the place with like my interests and stuff. Like same. I, I, yeah. I, I like thing. I don't really care what the time period is. If I like it, mm-hmm. I'll get drawn to it. And yeah. like, I'm kind of like I don't know. I don't know if you'd say if over like. I don't know. I feel like I'm in out of time sometimes because I, 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 mean, I like modern stuff, but I like yeah. old stuff. Most of the people the I relate mid- to are dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all the Ramones are fucking dead. <laughs> Officially, Tommy. And then, then, then people <laughs> hear, the, hear all the, like, the variety of music I listen to and they're like, how the hell can you listen to this? And that. And then like that, that too. I'm like... Because I'm like, open to the music. You know, so I was going to say, because I can? And yeah. I, I like the music. Do I don't just listen to dubstep. I don't just listen to fucking uh, Taylor Swift. top forty. What? What? Taylor Swift's top forty. Because uh, <laughs> that's like what? Oh, that's coming rolling back to your thing. Like, uh, like a few days after what happened to you, like me and my brother, I was like babysitting my niece, and uh, like I, I, because of my house shows and stuff, I really mellowed out. I like haven't been angry or negative or had like a dark, like a really dark thought and like fucking like eight years maybe. Right, and so I've always been like, I haven't really gotten mad at anyone or anything for any real reason. I haven't had to. Like, mm-hmm. you know, all the negative stuff is like mostly gone out of my life. You know, the things that I perceive negative in my life, anyways. And so I'm babysitting my niece, and you know, my brother asked if I could stay there for you know the, for two days. I'm like, okay, cool. And like, it's over the weekend. I'm like, okay, but I gotta work these days. And he's like, yeah, that's cool. I I can let you borrow the car. And I'm like, okay, cool. As long as I can do that. And so, yeah, I'm there, I'm helping babysit, but then two days becomes five days, and then and I'm like, what, wait, what? And he's just like, yeah, I need you to stay long. I'm like, okay, oh, fine, because, you know, whatever, because I'll do it. And uh, I, I got sick of that now. Now I'm like, now I'm just going to be like, nope, you said two days, take me home now, yeah. if it happens again. Because, I'm, you know, I don't want to get used, I don't just because, like, I'm free. I'm yeah. going to do it because I want to spend <laughs> time with my niece, I don't want to... I, it'd be nice to have money, but I'm not expecting money. Yeah. But yeah, so then from there, he's on literally, it's been like five days. He's on my ride home. I go to work the next day. And uh, I haven't like said anything negative. I haven't been sarcastic or whatever. Mm-hmm. And like, you know, he's driving me on the way home. And uh, he's just like, he's just like, so what are you doing tomorrow? I'm like, I'm just my life, man. I was just joking around saying, just my life. And because I didn't want to get into it because I don't like being, you know, Negative, and I don't really like being be like, I fucking hate work. Like, you know, I can just do that on my own time. I don't want to affect other people's day with my negativity. That's what I'm about. So I, I just didn't really want to say, like, I hate I hate my job, blah, 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 blah whatever. So I'm just like, nothing. And he's just like, all right, fuck you then. I'm like, hey, I'm like what? What happened just now? And he's just like, no, fuck you. I'm sick of your shit. I'm like, what are you, what are you talking about? He's like, you're always fucking running your own mouth. And I'm like, I barely ever talk to you because I, I we always get in arguments. I barely ever fucking talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> and and he's just like I don't ever want to ask you anything because you always get angry and offended at anything that I possibly say and I'm like that's because you know, you just say dumb shit but I don't I, I mellowed out I haven't really said anything negative like the whole time in my mind I never said anything negative and I said anything sarcastic but all of a sudden we get into like a huge fucking shouting match and you know, I fucking you know, I, I, I punched some holes in some walls at my house oh my and God. I haven't done that in like years years <laughs> But it's just because, you know, he's family, so he knows how to push my buttons. Yeah. But the thing is, is the people that I remember in my life, the people that, you know, made me most 
insecure or self-loathing in myself. The only people that made me feel bad about anything in my fucking life were my family. I can't remember the last person who insulted me and I was upset about it. Like, the person who I don't know. You yeah. Know? Even yeah. my friend, they can insult me and I'll be like, whatever, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. You're still my friend. If I consider you a friend, you're still my friend, right? Yeah. So, yeah, it's just like, you know, that's the long, it's been a long time since I've been angry and that happened. So, it's, we, we've had a crazy week. You got poisoning, you've gotten a fist fight. <laughs> well, I didn't get hit. I'm just going to put that out there. I felt, okay. I kind of, like, after I calmed down, I was like, Pretty badass. Well, he probably broke a fifty-year-old dude's hip. I uh, know. I mean, he was probably he wasn't like that. They wouldn't like run up to my car in a walker or anything. You know, like open the door, you fuck. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you know, he's like open up. Yeah, that shit. Yeah. yeah, but but yeah. That's I mean, he had he he deserved what he got. Of course, anyone does. I mean, that he, he went to the ground. I was. I mean, he was. Know, one, uh, I, I, I didn't know. knock him out. I mean, I just I I knocked him to the ground. Yeah, that's coming. And then I kind of just got my car and drove up, and I saw him get up, and I. Yeah. So I'm like, like I'm speeding to traffic. I hope so he felt appropriately bad afterwards. You know? uh, well, he probably did. I hope he did too. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm I meant you, him. not him. Well, did you punch an elderly person? I didn't. He wasn't an elderly person. <laughs> <laughs> You're making it seem he's like never gonna somebody's grandpa. Keep going. He's, he's just never gonna let you live that down. Now it's always gonna be an elderly, an elderly guy. He was, very, he was very, he was very, he was very okay. nimble. Okay, he was keep, very keep nimble. Going, and, but I mean, I was surprised he didn't like follow me or whatever. But I imagine, like, I'm he scared. knew. He imagined, like, he knew he was in the wrong. He probably had drugs or yeah, something in his gosh. car. You know what I mean? See, but that goes right back. Anybody into else my point. been like, you know? That goes right back into my point. Do you know how exhausting it is to be physic, to be actively, you know, hateful or negative towards anyone? It's so. It's like it's so easy to be nice. Yeah, it's just like, hey, you know, whatever. How's your nice day? That reminds me, like, the him pushing you. That reminds me of something that happened back at the previous apartment. You know, you were at. Whenever you know, I was doing house shit. When I lived, oh yeah, I lived yeah, there. like he, him living with a few other people. Like uh, I came over once, and I consider, I consider those people my friends, and so on and so forth. Yeah. And I came over one day, and something was weird and off about that night. Everyone was just feeling, everyone was just feeling, um, I don't know, off. And I came in, and I was just like, "Hey, what's up?" And then like, it was kind of obvious that one of them was drunk, and you're like, "I don't know what's going on, man." And uh, all of a sudden, he just kind of got really aggressive. And he's like, "I've never been in a fight with you, Rudy. You know, what would you do if we got in a fight?" And I was like. I mean, you're my oh, friend. See? I'm not, not going to fight you. See? Yeah. And then he was he was just like, what are you going to do? And he started punching me. He's like, what would you do? What would you do? What would you do? And just kept doing it. And he, I don't know how long he did it. Like, maybe for like a solid minute and a half, he was pushing me over yeah. and over again. And like, what would you do? And like, every three every three times, I was just like, you're my friend. I'm not going to fight you. And then the second that I hit my breaking point, I was like, if he, punch, if he pushes me this time again, I'm going to fucking punch him. <laughs> and the second that I thought that, which was my breaking point, I guess it was his breaking point, because he just kind of like stopped. He's like, he's like, Ugh, all right, whatever. And then he walked off because like, he knew that he wasn't going to fucking get what he wanted out of him. He wouldn't do anything. And second of all, he was just like, he was really drunk, but he's still the, one of the people he wouldn't do anything, dude. Like, yeah, anyway, but to me, I was just yeah. like, I, you know, I hate my brother. Because I've gotten push fights with him before, too. I was like, I was like dude, you know what you, I, was like, I hope you know what you're getting yourself into. <laughs> yeah. Just imagine like two yeah. people. Like, 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 Take heed, people. Mikey punched an old person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your grandpa is in the hospital. No, I'm kidding. I probably, I probably gave him a black eye. I mean, I didn't hit him like directly. He was an asshole. I, I probably, you pretty probably gave him brain damage or something. It's yeah. no big deal. Nobody, yeah, who cares? Yeah, He's gonna die in about like two days anyway. Still, you only, knock, still, you only, you only, knock, <laughs> you only like knocked into asshole. the hot concrete. Yeah, good. I still don't feel bad about. Sound it. like those little. <laughs> 14-year-old bitches constantly making fun of, you know, But yeah, everybody, learn, how, so, so learn like, how to throw a punch, <laughs> get in a couple fights. Oh yeah, that reminds me, uh, a little bit ago, I uh, got really super into, like, I don't know what happened, but I, it just, something happened, I was like, I wonder if my nephew, like my favorite nephew, I wonder if he's been bullied, because like, th from a different brother, um, it's, they, he, this brother's how I learned that I had Asperger's syndrome, because I was babysitting him one day, and then his parents, you know, his, you know, my sister-in-law slash uh, she was telling me what's going on and she's like, oh, this is what you gotta do. You know the basic, you know, the instructions for the kid for the day. And then pills came into play. I was like, wait, he's taking medication now? She's like, yeah, he's got Asperger's. I'm like, what are his symptoms? And then she described like a bunch of shit that was going down with me. And I'm like, oh damn, no. And then I said, so, you know, I got shit, I got shit, and I'm dealt with it. And I'm fine. You know, it's just the basic deals with social skills, whatever. I've gotten like it. 
Person I way better. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. People, uh, I'll say this, you, knowing Rudy, this when I lived with you four years ago, that mm-hmm. you have changed. Like you've changed a lot. You've got. I mean, you just got a lot better in social situations. I think the house shows were yeah. like a blessing. Yeah, in yeah. Like, I just had to become a fucking good yeah. host. Like, you know, like you were saying, like Aspergers, everybody, Aspergers, uh, like uh, Aspergers. They are. Uh, and and when I was in school, that that was like the the, the teachers were like. You know, he, doesn't, he doesn't really hang around with very many people, and he kind of keeps to himself in class. Let's, mm-hmm. let's like maybe he has Asperger's. So they had, they, I think they tried to test me for it, <laughs> but they didn't tell me that they were testing me for it. Yeah. Or no, wait, no, no, they, they didn't test me for that. They wanted to, but they gave me an IQ test, which I think was kind of part of that. Yeah. Because, because like they, they gave me an IQ test, they didn't tell me it was an IQ test. There's like we're we're gonna take you to the office. Uh, they're gonna they're gonna ask you a few questions. I'm like. Oh, Okay, I don't know. I don't know what's going on, and then they just ask me like random questions. Like, why the fuck are they t- asking me like about the Bible? Like, what what, what was this? Uh, what, what 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 like what was this passage from in the Bible? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't care. And then, then, well, and then it was like math questions, and like I'm like, math is my worst subject. Why the hell are you asking me this? You know, I was I'm, really good at math. Until, like, I, I was awful at math, which is suffering. weird. It was weird that I was. Awful in math, but science was my best subject. Oh, yeah. Even though it requires like a lot of math, you'd think I would. I was way better in science and shit yeah. than I was like algebra. I'm like, why are there letters in this equation? Get these letters <laughs> out of this equation. Le- letters are not numbers. That does not belong there. When I learned that, uh, basically, like, uh, just I can tell they're like being super, like, trying to be subtle about it, but it's pretty obvious that they're kind of using me as a litmus test for how he'll probably end up being later on in life because he's pretty much like a little tiny version of me at the moment. Mm-hmm. Cause like, uh, like recently this, like a uh, year and a half ago, he's like, he's like, act, like officially 13 now. Mm-hmm. Like he just, he just like fully got into trying to make comics, trying to make movies. He got super into horror movies. Mm-hmm. He, we spent like three hours. This is how I learned. We spent three hours talking about the Friday the 13th franchise mm-hmm. and not only that, but helping, uh, talking to him about helping him make his, his Jason costume. Mm-hmm. And I showed him like previous uh, things that I made, like I made a Jason mask because I made a Jason costume for my brother a few years previous, and I kept the mask because it was a really good quality mask for homemade. Mm-hmm. And um, but yeah, so like I said, they're just using me as like little tense for how his life is going to turn out. And like, because I remember that because like me and my brother weren't talking at one point in time in my in my life for like ever. And then he, he just showed up one day. He's just like, hey, can you come over and you know watch watch my. Uh, Watch my kids, or watch my, uh, you know, watch my nephew for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I he was at, I was asked. Ugh, sorry, I'm mumbling. And I was just like, oh, all right, cool, fine. He's just like, it's just that you know he's not making any friends right now because it's like his first year of uh, you know that grade, and it's a pretty integral grade to who you're gonna end up being. Yeah. Excuse me, just burped. And uh, <laughs> it was a quiet one, unlike you, yeah. yeah <laughs> we all burped pretty loud on here. Yeah. Mo- moving on. Um. So, shit, I lost my track. Nope, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, he's just like, can you, he's like, yeah, he's not making any friends, and, you know, I just don't know how to talk to him about it, because, like, growing up, I had four, you know, brothers, and they're all, you know, popular jock dudes, they all had multiple girlfriends, and they all had, like, the same shitty Dan Cook sense of humor, so I was burnt out on that sense of humor when I was, like, seven. And, um, he's asking me, uh, he's like, he, he, I, I, could you, like, talk to him, like, what's going on at school and stuff, because this is like, because, like, I don't. I can't talk to him about being different. And the way he said it made it sound like I had fucking AIDS. Yeah, like he had, like he had some some kind yeah, of like I, problem. Yeah, I got where it was coming from, but it took. Uh, we made it, it sound. Came off really bad. Yeah, he made it sound so horrible. I was just like, I get the sincere thought that you're having, but you you're so inarticulate right now. Yeah, you're like a fucking you're a monkey with a crowbar. This morning. <laughs> yeah. And so I was like, yeah, sure, okay. But then the second he left, I was just like super like, oh god, because that's the thing that bugs me. If you're not if you're fucking not different, you're the goddamn same, and that's essentially boring, and I don't yeah. want that. But yeah, let's we're getting dark here, so let's uh, let's yeah. move on. Yeah, let's uh, let's write it up yeah. a little bit. Yeah, okay. so we all I have I have a, a little pitch to make. Oh, what's the pitch? To oh, everybody okay. listening. Go ahead. I encourage everyone now to like and share and tell everybody about Freak Fiction. And if we get two hundred likes by Halloween, I'll shave my head. <laughs> I'm already bald. I just thought it. Was... No, I'll shave my beard. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, that's it's. I'll do it. I can see that. Yeah, 
It grows back fast. It'll be fine. I mean, that's that's a, it's a bold move. Yeah. I mean... You'll probably... We don't... Let's, you let us know if people think you're a chemo patient. <laughs> uh, well, I'll... I mean, it, Scruff comes back really quick, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, but... He, he has the wolf I, But I won't, I won't shave my head completely bald if I do it. Okay. I'll let it grow out just a little bit around that day. Just so you can have some comfort. Like, so what yeah. you're saying is your beard has a healing factor. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's mm -hmm. fun. Alright, well that's cool. Well, two hundred yeah. likes will do something. And special. also did you guys watch the or hear the that press release or whatever about the, the Mars stuff? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mars? Yeah, uh, that was today, literally today. I mean, this is yeah. not really news to me because I've watched so many like space documentaries yeah. and I've they found they found stuff. water or something. Well, uh, they've they've always thought of like the possibility of salty water like below the surface, but and, and frozen water in its poles, but uh, the, it's the first evidence of flowing water on the surface. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. Yeah, F salty liquid water. Huh. And so they always always confused me when I heard that at first. Well, like, whenever they... I saw like on Facebook that NASA was gonna have a big announcement about Mars or whatever, or I was just like, just fucking, just but say the we whole found water... an alien skull, just say it already. <laughs> just the, the whole water yeah. thing. I mean, if just... they did find something like that, they wouldn't say it right away. Oh yeah. no, no, I wouldn't say it at all. Because like, because I don't think the one. I'm, I'm sure that's what I was expecting. It was just gonna be water. I, well, I'm, I'm saying, but the water opens a lot of doors. I mean, yeah. It could be little microbes. Yeah. Because yeah. because like even if they did find a skull, I'm sure they're like they're scared to death of like some religious like nutcases going off on like an apocalypse oh, yeah. tangent. And then that, that oh, thing oh, is yeah, an apocalypse dude. tangent to them now. The blood moon. Even the blood moon thing yeah. I mentioned. The brown earlier. moon. Yeah. The, the brown, brown, the brown moon. When was the last time the, the like it was a huge official thing like after uh, after 2000 there's the there's the Norse one, and like that was like the last Ragnarok. One. Yeah, the, yeah. There's like the last big one, and there's official date we passed it. I don't know. Mm -hmm. There's there's always some kind of apocalypse theory yeah. happening now. If it's going to happen, we'll I mean, be, there's over like two thousand different religions. We're, we're, we're yeah. probably not going to know about it. Also, there's and if the we internet, do, so more people can be like, oh yeah, yeah. The, the internet, Facebook is also a religion itself. Yeah, and and, and if and even mm -hmm. if like the government did know about it, mm -hmm. they they will. There, there wouldn't be anything really they could never. do. They, they, they're ever, just like they we're, 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 we're gonna put the president and the entire like cabinet in a bunker somewhere and fuck everybody else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that's what definitely would happen. Oh, yeah, that's still that's still getting dark again. But yeah, we're, we're, yeah, we're, we're still being really dark. Why that's being so dark? No, let's okay. lighten it up a little bit. Okay, I got something to, to since you said pitch. Um, here's a little bit of an update for you people who've been listening since the first episode. Um, you remember yet? I don't. Which episode did I, come I don't think you really episode? brought. I don't think you brought. You kind of brought it up in the third episode, I think. Did he? No, I didn't bring it up. At all, I don't think yeah. you. I think you brought it up at all. I, I think yeah. you talked about it in the first episode, and then we. No, the that. second episode was the Joker episode. And I remember now that that's the one where it came up. Anyways, no, nope. yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. We can't even remember our own episodes. There's only four now. This is the yeah, official fourth sad. one. Yeah, it's sad. Anyways, like this, oh, we're like three hundred episodes. I'm just gonna give you guys an update, okay? Um... The idea that sprung from us talking about uh, going into the superhero dimension, like the I, that moment, oh, yeah. I was like, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna write that right now, and I pretty much I did. Like I didn't write the whole script, obviously, but no, I have a, a good outline. I have the whole first act outlined. I have the half of the second act outlined, and I have essentially like key moments of what would be the climax. And it has a name now. The main character doesn't have a name yet, but it has a name now. And this was spun off a, a documentary we were watching. What documentary was that? The what? That you got the where you got that word. Oh, the word. name? No, we were watching the the that comic to reality thing. What's it called? It doesn't matter. We'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll put Wait, a. No, I thought it was a documentary we were watching, like about. Oh yeah, I remember now. That's that's from a different documentary entirely. We know what we're talking we're about. We were watching the documentary. <laughs> yeah, and then like an idea, idea sprung to mind. Um, but yeah, the name is Presenium. Trademark. Trademarked. Rear Ramon, Freak Fiction. The name of the idea is Presenium. Tell what it means. What it means <laughs> is that's what uh, theater people call the fourth wall. Uh, uh, we were watching the... The thing with the the thing about She Hulk. Oh yeah, that was, uh, she it wasn't a documentary at <laughs> all. Yeah, yeah, She She Hulk broke the uh, fourth wall before what Deadpool did. Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. but th th they're actually even more so with it, more than Deadpool being like. Yeah, she could like, just call me Spider Man. Everybody does it. That yeah. was that was one of the ones I could just, remember. Up top. Yeah, she would like actually look to the audience and say it, and then she would like she could travel. Uh, 
the like in his quick genesis because she would rip through the ads into the next page. Holy yeah. shit! Yeah, sounds badass. Cookie shit. There's yeah. a little bit. I'll, I'll have to show you the video. Yeah, there's that and some other things, but yeah. It's and it talked about like I think more than was it like more than one character self aware. Yeah. Doesn't uh, Spider Man do that from time to time? Yeah. Yeah, but that's that, not as not, 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 not as obvious. Yeah. Like. He'd yeah. do that from time to time. It's, it's just like he would notice, so like, oh, of course, everybody knows I got the good old puzzle. It's more like he's narrating himself or yeah. narrating what he's doing. I yeah. don't think. Well, there, in the spectacular Spider Man cartoon, he does it a lot. Oh, yeah. 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 It's, probably, it's probably what I'm thinking of. That makes it more of an engaging. I think it engaging. wasn't as much like an en- engaging the audience as it was. Yeah. I mean, it is now, like in the other. Because there's yeah. like maybe the other versions after that. I don't think yeah, like, but in the when very it, that beginning. idea first came up in comics, it was trippy stuff. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so essentially, and I have an idea of how to make it into a trilogy, uh, but we'll get into that later. Like, we'll probably have like a full episode about it whenever it's more. Like I said, it's more fleshed out. I have uh, like what the characters about. I have the like the love interest. I have uh, the idea of the villain. I really need to work on my villain because I don't want to be a Marvel. Movie. And, 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 and whenever gonna, he finally gets Kevin Smith to direct it. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna play a sexy Lex Luthor. <laughs> <laughs> Lex Luthor just yeah, but yeah. Like, whenever it's a uh, like, whenever I got a like, I got the full outline. That's whenever we'll discuss it more. But I'm just letting you guys it's got a name, and it's it's coming together, and it's coming together pretty fast. Even if it's just something we read on here. I'm yeah, like, yeah. It's 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 pretty cool. It's, it's pretty badass. Pretty idea, yeah. Yeah. I mean, are you gonna like write it for to where if like you can just use any kind of characters you want, like made up heroes? No, I'm or creating my own world. Uh, like uh, so it's gonna be reference like in the script it's gonna say you know Bruce Wayne slash Batman like character but it, it's gonna be <laughs> called this and his his hero is gonna be called that. Yeah, know. that's that's okay. I thought yeah. yeah okay. But yeah, I have the second that like I got home after I was like I gotta start writing this. I got the opening image and I got the closing image. I got it's uh, it's pretty cool. It's it's awesome, awesome stuff. At least for me, like uh, if you guys. You guys don't know how creative I am, but like Mikey knows how much I fucking write. Yeah, like it's ridiculous. Yeah, like, like we'll come up with an idea, and then Rudy's like, "Hey, I got ten pages done." I'm like, oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm I, still I, like I, half a page in. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I get an idea, and then I'm like, I really don't want to fucking write this down, but I yeah. have to. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I beat myself up sometimes because I've had really good ideas and I don't like that. I've been like. Yeah, I'm so happy when I got a computer because like I really like working at the speed of thought. The second that that happens, like oh great, now I can write everything. (laughs) But yeah, but for moving on from that, just so you guys know, it's it's. I said I could see that being very visually appealing too. Oh yeah, like I don't know combining like the whole. I mean, I already know it's gonna be dark. I'm yeah, of course. That's just I like to go for the. I like that style though. I like the drama. I don't know, that reminds me of this conversation I heard the other day, and you guys might, I might get a little backlash from you two from this, <laughs> but I heard these two people talking about Mad Max. Response. About and, what? Uh-oh. It's the, it's, the, it's the timer. Timer for what? Who's timer? So this, place, what this whole place is about to blow. I think it's yours, Mikey. Yeah, it's my watch. You might want to go check it's, it out. It'll yeah. stop. It'll stop. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay, I heard these, the new Fury Road. Oh, okay. yeah, about it. I didn't like it. You're allowed not to like it. I know. But then uh, they were like, what? I'm like, just because a movie is visually appealing doesn't make it a good movie. <laughs> well, I will say it was visually like, yeah. those. that was yeah. all really cool. But as a movie and It didn't a story, engage you is what you're saying. No. It's like yeah. Avatar. It's like, why the hell does everybody uh, like Avatar so much? is way better than fucking Avatar. Well, I'm just comparing... I'm <laughs> comparing the... Mean, the, the yeah. I'm not comparing the movies. I'm comparing yeah. the whole, like... The response. Their whole response. Like, Avatar still is, like, the number one, like, the in the box office movies of... Like, almost every James Cameron movie. Yeah, they're, they're, no, like, they're, they're all... They're dude, all it's, it's seriously, thing. like, it's seriously Avatar and Titanic are the top two. Both James Cameron, yeah. Yeah. And I don't know, I just... The then, peak and the ebb. <laughs> right next <laughs> to each other. <laughs> Visually, like, oh, okay, that was really cool. Like, yeah. But I didn't really like the movie. Well, the I mean, main... The main... Cool, but point that I can give Fury Road is that it's the only time I ever gave a shit what Charlize Theron was doing in a movie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she did Arrested Development. You remember her character on there? I actually have not seen that. <sighs> I haven't seen it either. I'm not a, uh, I'm not as huge an Arrested That's, Development fan as everyone else on the planet. You really need to like... Have you ever watched I've got, it? I've got the first two seasons because I got them for three bucks each. You should definitely give it a shot. Yeah. Well, I did. I saw the first two seasons. Well, I'm talking to him. Oh, he's talking to him. Sorry. I just need to make a list. I keep saying yeah, that, but just we need to get you like a because we always say stuff and you actually say stuff too that yeah. I'm like I don't know what he's talking about. Yeah, there's so, like, like I would like I'm totally gonna check out. That that's what we need to do is just re-listen to some of these and 
Because yeah. <laughs> there's so many times like, oh no, I have not seen that. that. Yeah. And if you're if you're like, I should watch this. I should write this down. I'm pretty sure tons of people are like, I should watch that. I should write that down. Yeah. Okay. Is that so? Uh, is that everything we have uh, story wise? Because uh, yeah, that, I just I, that's a couple things I just wrote down. I want to think, and I I wrote this last night, like when I was really tired, <laughs> <laughs> like like kind of like falling asleep, but then waking back up and yeah. like writing. Oh yeah, the my idea like if there was like a movie trailer awards. Oh yeah, movie trailer awards. Like, cause me and Rudy were talking the other day. It's like there's so many trailers out there that were yeah. like way better than the movie, or yeah. trailers that like gave every single plot point out like in the trailer. Yeah, like a like the new Terminator movie where you find out John Connor's the bad Terminator. Yeah, yeah. In, in the trailer itself, it's stupid. Yeah, that would have been a great that, plot point if you did. That'd be like movies. a fun like YouTube series or something like that. I mean, yeah. you really couldn't award the actual people, but. <laughs> You know what I mean? It'd just be or it'd just be of something we do well, out here. Honest trailers might come up with that already. Yeah, we'll have to look at it. But I it's mean, a good idea. Kinda, you know what I mean? It's like because yeah. there's been so many trailers that I'm like I've watched like a hundred times or whatever, and then when yeah. I saw the movie, like for example, like the the new Spider Man's, mm -hmm. like the trailers look so cool. <laughs> the, like the first one looked really cool. And then you get the end result. And then you watch it. Yeah. I like, but like I think we've said this before. I really like Andrew Garfield as Spider Man. Yeah, though. and like, and uh, to me, visually, he's the the like the most straight to the comics. Yeah, yeah. At least of like in the Spider Suit. Yeah, like, yeah. He's, uh, when he's got the mask off, to me, that's more like Romita era mm -hmm. Spider Man. And like to me, uh, Tobey Maguire is more ridiculous era Spider Man. Did you like his the suit in Amazing Spider Man? Not the fucking first one. I was just like, why, why? Mm -hmm. He's wearing like sneakers, like yeah, Nikes, like, <laughs> Nike so Dunks stupid. or whatever. Don't you remember when I posted on Facebook like the 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 you know the, the graphic T-shirt? Oh, for with with the spider on. Yeah, it? and I just and I was like, look at this piece of shit grid. This is why I fucking hate this costume. Apparently, like this new one, this new Spider-Man. They said they're gonna go back to like the old kind of spider. -Man have have I showed you that picture where it's like uh, I showed him that mm -hmm. where they uh, so apparently it's rumored to be like the uh, concept we, art for the new spider oh, with the costumes and stuff? yeah and it's like he yeah. threw it to get like it's something a teenager could afford yeah it's kind of like that, the, it's a good concept what I want to see like the Spider-Man Noir costume yeah that'd be cool but That's like in cool uh, at some point especially like Marvel might end up doing it because they're fucking Marvel and like we do what we want um Endless you know the webbing like from the elbow to the yes to yes the, to yes the pit? yes like, I'm like, I wanted them to explain that, but like, it also looks like visually interesting whenever, you know, it's in the comics at least. I, I like the, have, uh, yeah. I can imagine like it would get caught on stuff. I imagine like, that's something like in the, like, encyclopedias. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, cause they explain all like, like the, uh, the webbing on the, uh, Spider-Man 2099 costume oh, yeah. Where, yeah. where it's like a cape kind of thing. Yeah, it's kind of like a cape, but like it actually serves a purpose because it has like, it, it was actually like a piece of a glider he ran into, mm -hmm. like a free, like a futuristic glider. Mm -hmm. And like part of it's like, like like wing got caught on his suit, mm -hmm. on it, and uh, it, it was like a it's like an airfoil, it's like an anti gravity foil, so it, it allows him to glide, somewhat glide through the I air. I remember when that cartoon came out, and I really wanted to watch it, and then like whatever happened, like the schedule change or something. Uh, like, it's, it's it was, that was uh, that, that was Spider Man uh, Unlimited. Unlimited, yeah, Unlimited. and uh, yeah. it was kind of it was it, visually it was yeah. loosely based on twenty ninety nine, but it was still Peter Parker. Yeah. In 2099, it was uh, Miguel O'Hara. It, it yeah. was like 200. I was like 100 years in the future. I'm trying to remember. But like, uh, I think there yeah. there are a lot of rumors like that like Pokemon cartoon killed mate, Spider Man Unlimited because they were on at the same time. Yeah. And everybody just kind of Woo, Pokemon. Yeah. yeah, the ratings killed it. Yeah. Oh, um, well, is that uh, is that all you got there, Mikey, for your topics? Um, Can we uh, move on to our? Uh, yeah, Next there's, there's something here, but that just, it's really just going to throw everything off. We'll talk about that another time. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, well, uh, but yeah, going back into like a... Were you going to say something? Else? I was going to talk, but... I did I have actually talk one more thing I wanted okay, to say. Okay, what was it? What was it? Uh, kind of, this is just kind of a brief <laughs> thing from what you were saying earlier about the Jason Todd theory. I know this, we've already done this, but... Yeah. Why can't we think... Okay, yeah. I'm 100% for sure that this is Jason Todd. Okay. I'm saying that right now. Mm -hmm. But how do we know the Joker, the real Joker, isn't dead yet? It kind of stands the reason that the real Joker would not be dead yet. In yeah, so that maybe he's the maybe the Joker is still just in hiding somewhere. Yeah, and just not I mean, being the Joker anymore. I, I've been seeing them doing that, and trying to like keep him kind of under wraps until we see the movie. Might yeah. he might end up being. Or if it's just the fact Joker's gone for some reason, and 
Jason Todd's the new the new Joker. I'm I'm saying that with one hundred percent confidence now, boys. Okay, cool. We'll see what happens when the movie comes out. Yeah, and then if I am right, you both owe me twenty bucks. No. <laughs> I <didn't hear> that. <laughs> If we I just wanted to get that out there because I'm just going to say right now, 100% that, that it's Jason Todd. Okay, if he is... There's no way that it's not. If he is correct, hashtag Mikey was right. Yeah, no. and Or hashtag nobody cares. <laughs> that too. So, <laughs> it's usually the hashtag. Yeah. Yeah. And you have to have sex with him. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. If he is wrong, he has, you have to have sex with him. And if he is yeah. right, you have to have sex with him and have videotape him. I'm going to have to start doing some lunges, boys. <laughs> yeah. You got to look until February. Okay, that went dark. Um, yeah. Every yeah. single time. Kind of getting back into the the week a little. You got something? What's up? We're, we're, we're almost the same thing you were talking about. The, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, we were kind of uh, worried about kind of like uh, topics and so on and so on today. But so, and going on with the week. Today, while uh, we were waiting for Adam to pop up, um, I helped Mikey take out his trash from the oh, apartment. Yeah. <laughs> and guess what I found in the dumpster? Two box loads full of vinyl records. And it says... Brush classic toilet with holder. <laughs> That's the box. There's two of them, and so we're gonna have a quote unquote unboxing. Yeah, we're these, we're doing these. a little bit of a unboxing today. Yeah, that's the thing though, because like that's one but of the things. But it's not like, like something we, you know. It's, it's it, music is something we're all like passionate yeah, we're, we're, about. Yeah, we're, we're all well. pretty passionate about music. Yeah, but we haven't actually haven't had a chance to talk about. It. And I was so gonna bring yeah. it up, but then today this happened. So we'll split them amongst ourselves, or yeah. let's let's unbox it first, and uh, I'll, since I found it, I'm gonna. I, yeah, I, you get first dibs. Of course. So we're just going to reach in and pull out a couple more? Yeah, so let's see what happens here. I'm just gonna... let, me, let me pull out some, too, and I'll hand Adam yeah. some. So okay, like, yeah, just grab a stack, just, just grab a stack, yeah. and then I'll get, we'll just go from me to, to you to Adam. Okay, and this will be the last. Yeah. But we do. Yeah. We got two boxes, so let's get it. Okay, I'm going to go. Ready? Mm-hmm. I don't fucking want this. Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band. Night Moves. Dude, yeah, I d- there's even not even a record. No, it's just a... I'll take that, though. <laughs> oh, hello. Okay. Jazz, uh, your turn. Yeah, Richard Rogers music. It's, it's I think he's this is Oklahoma, so he's probably s- it's some. A, uh, it's a yeah, sound of music and all that. Yeah, it's definitely a, yeah. a, a like a Broadway show. Uh, his name kind of sounds familiar, but it's just the Richard Rogers. <laughs> Not Roger Hammerstein. So. No. Go ahead and put. Kind of. Uh, seems like there, there are there are a lot of like movie yeah. soundtracks in this yeah, one. Yeah, really. Put, put those in there, then we can. And like theater on. stuff, because because the first one I see is a. Uh, the uh, it's the track for El- Ethel Merlin and Annie Get Your Gun. Ha! The, the theater <laughs> version. Oh, that's oh, funny. Nice. Okay, cool. Your turn, Maggie? No, that's you, dude. Oh, okay. We're well, going we'll, 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 <laughs> I got Jefferson Starship Spitfire. Let me see, let me see oh, that cover. Yeah, dude. Look at this cover. It's beautiful. The cover's nuts. And look, she, she looks topless there. She's topless. Yeah. I wish yeah. I had a record player. I mean. Yeah. Is the, is the record in here? Is that is that Mobius? It's in here. Yeah, it looks kind of like Mobius, but I don't think it is. It also looks a bit like fucking Drew Struzan. And he did do a lot of uh, yeah, yeah. record cover art, so that's probably Drew Struzan. Um, but yeah, the record's in here, so we'll, we'll probably listen to that. Okay, your turn, Mikey. Fog Hat Live. Yeah! <laughs> awesome. We're yep. getting some old school shit here. Yeah, dude. This is like, we'll this put, is that, like put that in the Starship pile. 60 shit. Right? That's old school shit. Your turn, Adam? Uh, I have Columbia Pictures Presents, a BBS production, the last picture show soundtrack. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's, that's a, a really cool yeah, it's, cover, too. Yeah. It's a, yeah, yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty atmospheric cover. Yeah, set that aside somewhere. I, uh, I definitely want that. And my turn? Um. <laughs> what? Dan Fogelberg, Captured Angel. Oh, what? Dan Fogelberg. I remember that being referenced. <laughs> it's got a book in it. Oh, cool. It's got an angel, and she looks kind of depressed, and she's got chains around her wrists. And uh, the guy on the back, who I presume is Dan Fogelberg, was kind of like a high Jesus. Yeah. As everyone did back in the 70s. <laughs> At least everyone who made music. Okay, your turn, Mikey. The original motion picture soundtrack album for Julie Andrews as the star. <laughs> music arranged but conducted by Lenny Hayden. <laughs> yeah. 20th Century Fox presents a Robert Wise film. Give me another stack. <laughs> oh, you need another stack? Okay. Um, I've never heard of this movie. Yeah, I'll give you a little bit more here in a second. Though. That, that box is empty. That's the Your turn again? I'll give you a little more stack. Yeah, well, uh, little. the first thing I saw when I picked up this stack oh, that, oh. That's was right. the Ghostbusters 2 soundtrack. Mine! Yeah, it's not in there, though. Well, well the record's in there. I oh, what the fuck? The records, they were just... 
out of the trash. I, I've got them in there and I slip them in there. It's probably I mean, they're not like deep in the trash or anything like dumpster dive. No, they're right literally right at the top. It's right at the top so we can just grab it out. Hand me a stack, dude. Okay, oh yeah, I got a hand you a stack. Yeah. <laughs> son of a bitch. Yeah, I'm just hand you my stack. But it's my turn. Why'd I do that? <laughs> okay, that's over here. I got a stack. Um, Mary Martin in Rogers and Hearts, Babes in Arms. Another little show tune thing. Stack that. Stack that. Oh my gosh, dude. What the rest of the show tunes. What's up? What do you find? This Mine. actually might be worth some money, brother. Oh, cool. What is it? Mary that? Martin in a new play, The Sound of Music. Oh my gosh, that probably is worth some Richard that? Rogers, Oscar Hammerstein. Whoa. Howard Lindsay and Russell Krauss. Yeah, dude, that probably is fucking worth something. Joe dude. Layton. If that is worth anything, like what? any money we make off this, just goes straight to the podcast. We're going to buy do microphones it. and shit with it. Let's do it. That sounds good. Okay, your turn. Freak, freaky finds. Yeah. Can I do a couple? Freaky finds in the day. Okay, so oh. this was the one I, I really saw. It's horrifying. It's, okay, it's, uh, it's Nelson Eddie and Gail Sherwood. Our love. But look at their faces. They look they creepy. Look creepy. Yeah, they look like a haunted that's house. That's a good pile. That's portrait that's going to stare Like Stepford Wives, kind of. Yeah. Shit pile. And, uh, but this one caught my eye. Wives. This one caught It's uh original soundtrack for Sylvester Stallone in Paradise Island. <laughs> <laughs> it is still in the wrapper. Oh, hey, that might be worth something. And look, see, that's you, that's the standard like costume you see for this. Island. So that's good. Okay, that's, since you went to, I'm going to start doing two pile. Now. Yeah. Oh. That's the poop pile. That's the poop pile. Okay. Yeah. Don't put that in I'm, I'm pile. throwing everything everywhere. That's that's the that's key that. Is yeah. this one good? Yeah, that one's good. This one's not. This one's not. Okay. That was, no, that one is good, I thought. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Sandy, get your gun. This is, this is fun. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, since he started doing two, let's just both start two because we got a lot here. Um, this one is Just for Kicks, Bob Thompson, his orchestra, and chorus. A foggy day, making whoopee. <laughs> Will this ever want to know about the boy? That's, uh, that's the name over there. It's like dirt all over me now because he's fucking there. Yeah, sorry. They uh, probably just sat in someone's garage or shed or something. Like. Yeah, it's, a, it's probably bed bugs. Uh, got another one. Music by Duvall, the happiest girl in the world. Music from the Broadway production. A lot of, yeah, Dude. you're right. A lot of show tune shit here. What is this? There's another one of the sound. Sorry. Two copies. And another last picture show one? Yeah, I want to <laughs> If there's two, we can split them. Yeah, we'll just... Okay. I got some 45s here, too. Some random 45s. But let's, uh... Your turn, Mike. Oh, this is just gibberish, brother. Uh, Leonard and Lowe favorites. Wait. Let me see the cover. She looks all right. By the Hollywood Studio Orchestra. She's a Doris Day looking shit. Thank heavens for little girls. I could have danced all night. I've grown... Accustomed to her face, Gigi, and many others. That sounds like a short fiction. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. An indie movie. That was two, yeah. Your turn. Uh, no. The Damn Yankees soundtrack. Oh, hey, how about that? That's popular in that stage crowd. Keep going. Yeah, some of these are probably worth something. Yeah, you have two. Two at a time. Two at a time? time? Yeah, uh, okay, I'll do this one because it's just funny. It's, it's Pepe. <laughs> <laughs> There's a little racist Mexican looking dude on it. That's going to the trash. <laughs> Just out of sheer principle. Yeah. Yeah. You want Emerson leave these with here, here with you, Mike, and you can look up if they're in or what they're in. Okay. I'll do that. Okay. Yes, you want to go? Turn? I got the My Fair Lady soundtrack. Oh, oh my god. Audrey on the cover, Rex Harrison. That definitely. Yeah. I mean, it's. Yeah. Is the record in there? Yeah. Yeah, the record's in there. But look, there's it's a little bit of damage right there. Yeah. But it could be worth, you know, a few bucks. So I'm going to stick that right here. We're going to buy it for the record, though, you know. Another an original soundtrack recording from the MGM film, Kiss Me Kate. And, uh, yeah. Keep going, guys. Uh. I don't know what it is. Dino? Oh, Dino. That's a. That's trying to read some of these songs, see if I recognize it. Yeah. Party Dolls and Wine. Dino's got a song or two that's good. And there's another copy you of the, you know? the Last Picture Show. Another copy of the Last Picture Show? Mm -hmm. Hopefully one of those is worth something. Okay, oh, your turn yeah. now. All right. Uh, the Columbia Treasury of American Musical Theater presents Anyone Can Whistle. <laughs> it's like, I'm pretty sure it's like a children's book. Oh, it's it's like an audio version of a children's book. It That's was nine saying. bucks. Yeah. And uh, uh, next up, another children's thing. Yeah. Uh, Christmas with Santa and His Friends, uh -oh. a story coloring book. You listen to the record and it would tell a story as you were coloring it. It's not in there, there, so it's not as fun. It's just the fucking cover. It's still might look it's, it's still funny, yeah. Oh, there's a something. And there's things. Hey, diddle diddle. Oh wait, that's the forty-five. I got forty-fives in here, so that's probably. Here, it. Just sit that on top. Of it. Yeah. 
Okay, cool. My turn. I got the great Broadway shows, the symphonic pop strings conducted by Dean Franconi. In so yeah, that's ah here's something. Music for a lonely night. The J. Oh. J. Gordon String Orchestra. <laughs> and the right hand looks kind of dashing. Oh, that's gonna go on. Put it on shuffle, Rudy. Put it on shuffle. Okay. Just gonna put that in there. Keep going, guys. Uh, the magic of Doris Day. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> you know, guys, Moonlight Bay and T for Two. <laughs> yeah. Number two? Uh, I can't tell what that says. Finian's Rainbow? Am I saying that right? Yeah, it sounds familiar. That's something. That does sound familiar. Words by E.Y. Harburg. Music by Burton Lane. Oh, Old that's... Devil Moon, When I'm Not Near the Girl I Love. <laughs> How Are Things, Glockamora? What the mm. fuck? Uh, if This Isn't Love. <laughs> that's an interesting thing. Oh! Orchestra under the direction of Ray Charles. Hey! Yeah. Cool. Yeah. There. Let's set that in the... Yeah, set that in the... the Alright, one of mine. Uh, Charlie Rich behind closed doors. <laughs> <laughs> that got me through most of high school. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just, just and case. then, the original Broadway cast, Anthony Newley in Stop the World, I Want to Get Off. Yeah. It's got a little pantomime guy. All different meaning now was... Yeah. Stop the world, I want to get off. My turn. Uh, I've heard of this. It's uh, Mary Martin and Gershwin's Girl Crazy. Right? And then I have Al Martino's nice. Spanish Eyes. Uh, think I'll go somewhere and cry myself to sleep. Make the world go away. My foolish heart, till then my love. I'll hold you in my heart. Forgive me. The White Rose of Athens. One has my name, the other has my heart. The end of the world. Hello, memory. By the river of the roses, Spanish Eyes. See, it sounds yeah. like a fucking poem when you said it back to back. It was a poem, I think. I think that's the lyrics to the song. Oh. <laughs> Dumbass me. <laughs> You're like, wow, it sounds like No, those, yeah, those are the song titles. Oh, really? I yeah. thought... See, look at the back listing. Dick. I, I thought you started it and ended with Spanish eyes. Oh, I thought the title you were... Spanish eyes, okay. and then I ended with it. Uh, okay. You can see where I got confused. Yeah, I can see that. I can see where I'm going Because it did sound like a freaking song. Your turn? Um... Where do I start? There's so many freaking. It looks like a completion album of a bunch of different people, like Tony Martin, Howard Keel. There's a lot of doubles. Uh, Jose Ferrer, Willie. Oh, Lopez, Jose Ferrer. Yeah. Gene Kelly. Uh, there's a lot of the, Rosemary Clooney. <laughs> say oh, uh, Rosemary Clooney. Yeah, say the say the name of the songs. There's probably a few toe tappers in there. Let's see. That one's like in a different language. Uh, yeah. She leg of mutton. Leg of mutton. <laughs> and then in parentheses it says some smoke. <laughs> Our land and my land. Oh, this year and this year land. Is that one? No, I don't know. That's a. Yeah, you will really remember cool. Vienna. It. There's a bunch of ones in like different languages. I don't know. Like, Road to Paradise. Mm -hmm. I love to go swimming with women. <laughs> and women is spelled W-I-M-M-E-N. Uh, Lover come back to me. I grow too old to dream that fun bullshit. Um, oh, beautiful. Nat King Cole sings oh, My Fair Lady. Definitely mine. I like that. Look at the back. Oh, sexy. Nice. Look at that girl. Whoa. Yeah, see? None of you can see it, but it's just, <laughs> is this, is this, did we say keep this? Yeah, we're uh, keeping that definitely. This keep stop, stop the world I want to get off. Yeah. <laughs> is that the one I? Was that your two? Yeah. Yeah, no, but I was. I thought when you said you wanted to keep the stop the world I want to get off. No, the uh, put that over there. The one that, that we just oh, said shit. with the chick on the back. Put those over the there. The Nat King Cole one. There you go. Okay. Cool. Okay, those are your two, right? Oh, yeah, look them all. all right, Adam, your two. Yeah, sorry. Uh, my two. Uh, Rogers and Hammerstein's Carousel. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's probably worth something. Yeah. Probably. Probably worth something. Over here. And then Lerner and Lowe's Brigadoon. <laughs> Brigadoon. <laughs> Last time I heard the Brigadoon, uh, John Ritter said it on the TV of uh, Simple Rules for Dating My Teenage Daughter. May he rest in peace. The world's a, less, a, little, a lot less funny than I. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm going to give you another stack. Here it is. This is the last of it, but guys. My turn. I'm just gonna, uh, yeah, okay, cool. Sometimes a Great Nation, from the original soundtrack album of it, uh, composed and conducted by Henry Mancini. All his children sung by Charlie Pride. 
there's uh, some artistry on here. Like I haven't heard this movie, so look, what it looks like, Brando, but I don't know. I'm gonna stick that. Okay, number two. That's a that, that's a double. Yeah. Uh, Andy Williams, Days of Wine and Roses, another TV request. Can't get used to losing you. Days of Wine and Roses, falling in love with love. My coloring book. What kind of fool am I? I left my heart in San Francisco. When you're smiling, everyone has heard that song. Yeah, of course. Uh, I really and don't want to know. You are my sunshine, of course. Uh, it's a most unusual day. Mm -hmm. Exactly like you and me each day. Mm. Yeah. And that's my two. Okay, Maggie. Yeah, uh, Leland Hayward and uh, presents Mr. President, a new <laughs> a new musical comedy. <laughs> Uh, music and lyrics by Irving Berlin. Irving Berlin, no. Okay. Uh, the book by Howard Lindsay and Russell Krauss. I think we've read a couple of their names before. Yeah. Directed by Joshua Logan. I'm trying to see if there's any other familiar names in here. Mm -hmm. Sounds familiar. Stick that. Some in. of these names have been kind of like on all the same. I mean, it's like. Yeah. It seems it's in pretty good condition. I mean, there's a lot of damage on the bottom of these, so you know they probably sat, if like a flood mm. or. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, that was my first. And then, <coughs> I just breathed in some dust. Yeah, there's a yeah, lot of I've been trying not this. to cough the entire time. We just caught, we just cleaned your apartment. Now I got dust all over again. Yeah, you mother freakers. Sorry. I, wasn't I just cleaned my apartment. You just took out my trash for me. No, I was there. I helped with a few things. You. Okay, okay let's well, go. Okay. Quick. Uh, Eddie Howard and his orchestra sings and plays the great band hits. Uh, it's nothing really familiar on here, so I'm going to drop it on the ground. Yep. All right. My turn? Yes, sir. Uh, Jeremy Kearns presents Roberta, starring Joan Robert, Jack Cassie, Kay, Bo uh, Kay Ballard, and Portia Nelson. <laughs> You're in a lot of actors I recognize. And then, uh, Strict and <laughs> Mary Martin and Gershwin's Girl Crazy. That's like the fourth copy of that one. Seriously. Mm -hmm. I tossed like three copies of that over here after I announced another one. Huh. Keep going. That person probably really loved that one. My turn. These are my last two because my that's my last step. Uh, this is love. Restrings are great love songs of Al Martino again. A few are the same. He's got Strangers in the Night, uh, Love Letters, This Love of Mine, Two Different Worlds. And who I can I turn to? There we go. There's that one. And then <clears throat> RCA Victor presents Roger Hammerstein's South Pacific. Academy Award winner for Achievement in Sound. So yeah, look at this uh, cover. It looks nice and romantic. Could be a postcard. So yeah, there's that. That's my last of my stack, folks. Okay, well we got another Andy Williams here. It's not in case. The Wonderful World of Andy Williams. Mm -hmm. Featuring the Williams brothers, Claudine Williams, and the entire Williams family. Yeah, so that's nice. It's we not the case, here. though. Oh, uh, okay. And then the other one is the last one is the from the original Paramount Picture and original soundtrack recording, uh, Tommy Steele and Half a Sixpence. <laughs> and Adam's. All right. Adam's last one. I got I the very last one. The coolest, I think, of them all. <laughs> uh, the original Broadway cast: Richard Burton, Julie Andrews, and Robert Goulet. Goulet. Maybe Gillette. Gillette. I don't know. In Camelot. Oh, yeah. I, I'm I sad. Want, I want to sell that. I like how we said that simultaneously. Which yeah. ones are these? Yeah, so that's a good one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put that in the definite keeps. Um, we'll, we'll probably end up selling all these anyway. Um, but yeah, I forgot that there's some stray records by themselves and some stray 45s. The 45, that, I'm just going to name these off because this is literally the last of it. Um, <sighs> Sorry, go ahead. Okay, you're going to read that one because you're obviously you're excited about it. Uh, this is. Uh, Eric Weisberg from the Warner Brothers film Deliverance. Dueling banjos on 45. Oh, huh. nice. Yeah, and on the back is Ruben's Train. So I'm guessing that's the end credit song. So if you ever want to go out in the cabin in the woods somewhere and play yeah. some music, that's what you play. Whenever you come over to, to the Freak Fiction official apartment, whenever we get one, the Dueling banjos is what you're going to hear. <laughs> yeah. fuck. On, 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 on loop. No. On loop. All no, that's just all kinds of... Oh, I didn't plan on having sex with you. No, you just no. uh, that out there. Not for Rudy. family. Not for family. Well, that's why you kind of made it sound. Yeah, anyways, Rainwood. Anyway. Uh, uh, Moon River, Lord, uh, Lawrence Welk, okay. That's a standard old person, performer. 
Uh, over here, Roger Sanders Science State Fair. And here's the third one of actual records. The Sound of the Asphalt Jungle. Joe Arnell and his, his orchestra. That sounds interesting. Uh, you and the Night and the Music. Take the A Train uh, in the wee small hours of the morning. I've heard that song before. Night and Day. Anyone's heard that? Solitude. Easy to love. Uh, I can skip over the, the B side. And here are the 45s. Uh, the other one, Kenny Rogers. <laughs> yeah, uh, she believes in me, and then uh, also Kenny Rogers, Morgana Jones, <laughs> and yeah, the forty-five other guys doing banjo. So that's my whole stack. Uh, sadly, no Back to the Future two record. Yeah, it's yeah. That's no a shame. Back to the Future two, Ghostbusters. That's too. a shame. Yeah. All I saw on here was uh, a couple of my favorite songs. Well, it's got a, a bunch of good ones like. Clementine, on top of Old Smokey, oh, yeah. and my all-time favorite song in the whole world, really? Home on the Range. Oh, no. My I grew up... My, That's all your 45, didn't I? I grew up on a... Well, my grandpa was a ranch hand. Just put a, a thumbtack up. On a really... Yeah, yeah summer dude. Yeah. On a really big farm in Parker, Colorado. So I kind of grew up in the mountains and yeah. kind of on the, around cows and stuff like that. My grandpa used to play that on his guitar. Oh, oh my God. On the Range. Where the deers and the antelope play, <laughs> where seldom is heard. Come on, guys. A discouraging word, and the skies are not cloudy all day. <laughs> hey, I haven't heard that song in so long. It just repeats. I just remember the uh, old Smokey song is the song in uh, recent of recent memory uh, that uh, the guy uh, crap he played uh, victim uh, victim moan in Fast Time Richmond High. He ends up uh, playing the the guy who teaches Kristen Stewart as Joan Jett guitar in her first guitar lesson, and she's just like, "Fuck you!" And that's the song he tries to teach her. <laughs> and she's like, "No, dude, I just want to play fucking like Chuck Berry. I want to play it now." And he's like, "No, you gotta learn basic chords first." And she knows chords, but yeah, that's what I remember of. But yeah, so yeah, that's it. That's uh, I guess that's uh, that's all for us today. Yeah, uh, we got Anything fights. We got poisoned. Up. Yeah, um, so... We learned some stuff about everybody? Yeah, we did. Yeah, I mean, well, some we, things we, made, we made a mess of uh, made a mess of Mikey's apartment. Yeah, it was right. cleaned. No, it's, not, it's just probably just a little bit of dust. It's gonna yeah, you right up. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. like you guys... There's probably yeah. more dust on us than there is on the floor. Yeah. There's probably bed bugs in there somewhere. Oh, yeah, we're going to be... Uh, if we all get Motaba, it's my fault. <laughs> if there's not an episode of Fire 5 of Freak Fiction, you know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cliffhanger to leave it out on. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, folks. Um, Go to our page if you haven't already. If you're just listening to this on SoundCloud, I think there's yeah. a link over on the, the right side of the Just thing. in case, it is facebook.com slash freaks and comics, correct? Uh, just, there's a, there, a link on SoundCloud. You can just say like our Facebook. Did not know that. Okay. I set it up myself. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, I recently set up the official Freak Fiction Twitter at Capital Freak, Capital Fiction, one word, no spaces, no nothing. And I will be working on the YouTube page, yeah, we'll probably right oh. after I go home. Yeah. We're planning on doing a commentary episode to where we're going to watch a movie. Exactly. And we're going to give our own commentary. We're not going to display the movie. It's just you'll be able to listen to, listen it, to it while you're watching. Visualize what we're seeing as yeah, we say Netflix it. Netflix, it out of your collection. And we, we have a few that we're kind of debating right now, like... Yeah. Uh, one of them is going to be the, the Batman and Robin, <laughs> yeah. Chris O'Donnell, right? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, we agreed on that one, yeah. I think that's the one we might do, because yeah. that is just, yeah. that movie is just, just, you, just can, you can make movie. fun of it. Yeah. There's so much to be said about it, no matter what time. I mean, the only thing I will say I like about that movie is, like, kind of how Gotham looked. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's the probably the Yeah, best Gotham thing looks pretty cool. Yeah. But just, of the Schumacher Batman, it's obviously the better one is forever. So you Batman can agree, Batman. just because the movie is visually appealing, it's not a good movie. Yeah. Boom. Ooh, boom. You guys just face. <laughs> but yeah, this, anyways, this came up whenever because I was talking to Mikey and we were talking about time and we were trying to keep it shorter. I don't know if it lasted because we, we felt... As this we was said, spontaneous because we were planning on uh, uh, recording tomorrow but job and work schedule. Conflict. Yeah. Yeah. Conflict. We kind of just threw this one together. Yeah, but we, uh, we were trying to... I think it's probably to, our best one so far. Yeah, it's, yeah. Probably, it's a really good one. Yeah. Number two is my favorite. Yeah. I like that. I think that I, was I our thought, best. Number two is solid. Three kind of um, sucked because we had like so many technical difficulties. I yeah, had to take out like 15 not minutes. Not that. I took out like that. 30 minutes, dude. Oh, not only like that, but yeah. it's because we tried to force a structure onto it. Yeah, well, we did. Yeah, we tried to force a structure. Yeah. Instead of just like, hey, we'll just write a few things down. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. But yeah, like, yeah, to me, like, episode two so far, having heard it and experienced it, it's like the content strongest. Stuff, yeah, yeah, the best content, I think, so far. 
But yeah, um, anyways, we, know, we did the commentary thing because we're like, we're like, oh, we might as well just fucking, it's, it's a, every episode of ours is pretty much a whole movie. Yeah. yeah. So he's just like, oh, why don't we do a commentary? Yeah, like, it's oh, just, yeah, you're, you're experiencing a part of someone's life. But yeah. So yeah, get to know us because we want to get to know you. Also, get more active on the page. Yeah. Write stuff down. Write stuff. Share. We ask you guys questions and stuff. But or you don't post, respond. post shit yourself. We don't care. Just yeah. Post nudes. No. No. We're responsible adults. Don't. <laughs> Adam, where do you take these things? <laughs> Moving on. Yeah. Like okay. Like our page. Share our page. So and so forth. So you can catch me on Twitter at Rudy Ramon. All under case. Rudy like the movie. Ramon like the band. Don't try to contact me at all. No, oh, okay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> You'll find me. I'm not, I'm out there. You little pussy. Adam, yeah, you got Twitter, right? Uh, I, I don't have a Twitter. No. Damn it. Well, you have your gaming thing, right? My gaming thing? Yeah, you said you were doing your, like, your... your oh, place. no, I, I've been wanting to set up... I, you, you guys have my mic. I haven't been able to do it. Oh, sorry. Anyways. <laughs> find our shit. Like it. Share it. Enjoy it. That's your friendly neighborhood podcast. You have a good night.